good evening and welcome to the Friday Night Paper Fight here on Loading Ready Run! Where tonight, uh, we are going to be doing a draft of something. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. But first of all, I'm here, I'm Graham, and tonight I'm joined by James. Hello! Cameron. Huh? Nelson. Also here. Matt. Hello! And Kathleen. Uh. And also, Paul, of course, is here on tech. Hello! And we had intended the plan had been, for those who, are, who were aware of what the schedule was, that we were going to be doing a rotisserie draft of Unstable, because we were to believe that we had a complete set of Unstable, because we had a long box in the cupboard that was labeled Unstable Full Set. So you would justifiably assume that that is what you would have. Turns out, uh, first of all, it was f that long box was full, which is way more cards than a full set, uh, so a lot of doubles. And uh, notably, some some holes. We actually we sorted the whole long box. We put together as much of a complete set as we could, but there's a bunch of stuff missing. So we're gonna revisit that. We're gonna put a pin in that idea. We're gonna get the card. We wrote down the cards are missing. We're gonna get those cards, and we're gonna do that idea at some point. But tonight, we're gonna do something else instead. And I'll do our top of the show housekeeping while you viewers at home in the live Twitch chat are voting. Democracy! Yes, your options are <laughs> Kanagawa Neon Dynasty, as it is currently, it is uh, two years. I Ugh. can't believe it's been that long. That is this, absurd. This is the, uh, tonight, uh, it's the uh, uh, two years since the release of Kanagawa Neon Dynasty. Ah, yes, the Halcyon Days of 2022. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mystery Booster Convention Edition, complete with uh, playtest cards, or. <laughs> Original Innistrad, asterisk, um, we don't, we thought we had 18 packs, we don't, so it's going to be each player gets two packs of Innistrad and one pack of double feature. Which is legit kind of neat. Which sounds fun too. Yeah. I kinda, so, we've had a vibe where we're sort of like letting the kids pick which like nosh <laughs> nights. Yeah. Like, look kids, I'm not making anything new, but we've got leftovers from three different meals this week. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yeah. So, uh, so there's a poll uh, in chat, or there will be. There we have commenced polling. We've commenced the poll. Uh, so we're going to let that run for a few minutes, and uh, then we will draft either Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, Misty Boosty Convention Edition, or Innistrad Plus. Hey. What's up? Hey, while we're doing housekeeping, yeah. we're going to buy all of those cards. Where's a good place to buy those cards I'm from? I'm so glad you asked. Cardkingdom.com. This stream is brought to you by Cardkingdom.com. Please visit that website slash LRR to get yourself some magical cards. Such as, if you're interested in a Ravnica Remastered, they are having a flash sale at the moment with uh, draft packs, four bucks US. Draft displays, a box of booster of uh, draft packs, uh, $139.99. Collector boosters, eighteen ninety nine, and collector booster boxes, uh, two nineteen ninety nine, or potentially free because we're giving one away, courtesy of CardKingdom.com. Not that one. Not not literally this one. It's gonna be one of these. Yeah. But this one's ours. They're shipping it. It does mean that the winner of that has to live in the U.S. because Card Kingdom is not allowed to ship sealed product outside of the U.S. But, statistically, most of you are from the U.S., so one of these. And we'll be uh, giving that away... At the end of round one. After round one. Yeah. So, so you got to stick around. Yeah. But you should head over to CardKingdom.com anyway. To, uh, let, putting the <laughs> code on there lets them know that we what? What did I say? You didn't say anything. Paul said, pay dollars, get more votes, democracy! Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Corporations are people, my friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Head to Card Kingdom, um, putting that code in there lets them know that we sent you, and we do that because we think they're great. And you can also tell them in the little like notes area, you can say, Loading Ready Run sent me, button please. And they'll give you a little one inch button with a funny magic phrase, which currently, uh, we believe, at least we've been told, is uh, life, laughter, land drops. So, uh, you can get. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. So a lot. wrong. <laughs> I kind of want to get, like, some, like, mom art of that to put it up in the, like, the lunchroom or something. Mm. Yeah, cross yeah. stitch or something. It's like, Ooh. it's, it's in wine o'clock, but it says, it says, it says, like, it's first turn soul ring o'clock or something, you know, some sort of Ooh. cross stitch. Yeah. Innistrad and Mystery Boosters are 
like ridiculously neck and neck. Wow. Ooh. They're, well, they're, they're within they like five of each. They, they keep going up and up and up. Uh, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty currently at three percent. So, oh. well, so much for Christmas. Christmas. So much for its birthday. But it's so that, good I though. Love <laughs> I, but I love it. It's a great um, draft format. And but the thing is, the two different packs of Innistrad has a bit of a uh, chaos draft vibe to it, right? Yeah. Right. What about like? Are there any other kind of like mom core uh, mm. aphorisms we could turn into magic? Like we did a, a balanced uh, a, a balanced effect is a, an edict for all players. Oh <laughs> wow! Nice. In this mm. home we right. Yeah. Oh yes, in this home we edict all players. We, we bolt, <laughs> in this home we bolt the bird. Yeah. 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 Something about like bless this mess. Um, yeah. Bless this chaff. Sure. Yeah. Bless this yeah. chaff. Sometimes yeah. you just see signs that are just like. Just like kitchen, right? Or like yeah. eat, right? So just yeah. something, you know, mana or um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> s- yeah. second main. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, just just a uh, bless uh, this hand. Yeah, yeah, j- just I mean, just like five, uh, like a five color deck with like bless this mess. Is actually like pretty yeah. Nick is with don't talk to me until I've had my band and restricted announcement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also like That's live, excellent. laugh, lose, yeah. live, laugh, lose is good too. <laughs> Writing all these down for future connecting. <laughs> yeah. Plus this um, mulligan's good. I should say also, because we did mention Card Kingdom, and you should go there. They're having, like I said, that flash sale on Ravnica uh, remastered. Until and, Monday, by the way. Yeah, until Monday. And we've only drafted it once here, but it was fun. And I think you're gonna I think you're gonna want to get in on that. Yeah. Honestly, um, for four bucks a pack too, like that's a good deal. There's there's dual lands in, in there and stuff. Yeah. And like cool old border cards. Uh, but also, cool. thank you. Uh, but also, this stream and everything we do here is brought to you by you and your kind support of our Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run. While we wait for the po- uh, poll to wrap up, mm-hmm. what if, Kathleen, I'm going to throw a question back at you. Oh, God. What if people like Ravnica, yes. but don't want to play Magic and instead want to watch people play Dungeons and Dragons? Oh, my goodness. Have I got the thing for you? Really? How unlikely? Yes. Right now. <laughs> Over on the Let It Ready Run tabletop channel, but also on this Twitch channel uh, every Wednesday night, we, and by we I mean myself, Cameron, Ben, Wheeler, and Ian, are all playing through a, well, they're playing, I'm running it, it's a Ravnica campaign set in everybody's favorite, most picturesque and well detailed, according to the official Magic Wiki, the sixth district of Ravnica, only known for having fetid swamps. It's the only actual canonical thing known about it. But I think there's lots of other exciting things happening there we just don't get to hear about. You've developed a rich fan in over these past years. Hmm. Although, to be fair, the fetid swamps do feature largely into that as well. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not going to ignore the officially established lore. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, does fetid swamp only tap for black if you have another swamp in play? (laughs) (laughs) So... We have an interesting situation here. Oh, yeah. The winner is Mystery Booster. Hey. Yeah, but by two votes by is what I votes. saw. Wow. Whoa. Here's a wow. qu- question for you, Paul. Do people in the room get to vote? In oh. which case, you could, you could swing it. So, uh, <laughs> fun story. Uh, because I love you, Paul, and wanted less work for you, I sat here and spent all 450000 of my dollars <laughs> voting for Innistrad. <laughs> I have no more points left in the channel, and it's still lost. Democracy, democracy is a freaking lie. Hey, hey, I've been an NDP voter for my <laughs> It's okay, buddy. It's yeah. okay. We'll get them next time. To be fair, uh, the the problem with the mystery booster is there's you know there's way too many cards in the set for the card reader to work properly. Yeah. Uh, actually, I adding. That's not. Uh, that's Adding the um, uh, whatever the the Innistrad, um, adding the the double feature, the double feature basically turns Innistrad into <laughs> into the same thing. Innistrad, <laughs> but plus the double feature cards being black and white yeah. do not work with the card reader yeah. very well. Yeah, so, so it was going to be bad well, either way. We so appreciate saying. your half so here's million a, points for nothing. Here's a question. Yeah, here's so a question, Mr. Paul. Booster, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. How many people are watching right now? Uh, there are. At least five. Let me in. Let, let me see. Uh, we Apparently have, Dog of Both uh, just counteracted you anyway. 571 viewers. 571. Oh, viewers are saying 601. Okay. How many votes were cast oh. 
for those this three. Just, this is just a lesson in, in getting out and exercising your right to vote, isn't it? I think it? this is more of an exercise in uh, money talks. Uh, How many votes were cast? Does it give me a total, total breakdown? This is why we should take money out of politics. Uh, so, out of, so there's what, uh, if there are 601 people watch, watching, uh, yeah, something, so there's 893 people voted for Mr. Booster, <laughs> 891 voted for Innistrad, and uh, 147 voted for Kamigawa Dynasty. Yeah, democ Orange democracy wave, is baby. broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's one of those things where, like, you know, dead people voted or something. Yeah. Yeah. We should check that. That Checks ratio out. does kind of sound like Canadian politics. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I spent my free vote on Mystery Booster and then spent a million points for Gama Gama. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. Clearly we need to do votes every once in a while just to just kind to of, clear out the dollars. Yeah, you know? just to just to clear otherwise the problem with the do, with the dollars is we don't do anything with it and then people build up ridiculous amounts so that anything we set for the goal <laughs> will be pointless. immediately Some people might not even know what we're talking about, especially if you're only watching this on YouTube. You accrue like channel points mm -hmm. on, on Twitch. Yeah. And this was if I recall correctly, it was during the pandemic that Twitch was like maybe it was just beforehand, but it was like uh, Twitch just one day was like, by the way, we've added this feature, boop, and just turned it on. Yeah. And we were like, oh, what? What the hell are we supposed to do with this? And we didn't have any plans for it. And then, yeah, as Paul says, people just kept accruing stuff so that now we, we can't add anything. Yeah, like if we try to do anything, we're like, okay, we'll set the limit to 500 million <laughs> yeah. points. Then, like, two people will come in and fill it immediately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Oh, oh, let's, let's get started. Let's go. Woo! What's in this? Who knows? All of the cards, so including Matt, some that aren't cards. So, Matt, how often have you drafted, who, Matt, who thought you would be here for a rotisserie draft of the comedy set? I went to multiple yellow jacket drafts when it was the third Theros set. Okay. Right. Then and, you'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's cards <gasps> from Ravnica. Oh, how's wow. The, how's, the, how's my focus and positioning, Paul? Uh, let me. I might I'm just gonna good. first pick my rare oh. mat because you you and I are playing, and Let's then I'm just gonna force these bit. colors the whole time. Uh, I think I got a card that's like seventy bucks because of Commander players. Nice, Sweet. congrats. Huh. Boop. If you wanted to sell that card to anywhere. I also got a card that uh, would have come oh. in handy a couple of hours ago. Sick. Oh. <laughs> what from from Unstable? Yeah. Ah. All right. Well, put that to the side. What's this do? Huh. I kind of want to just take the... That seems really good. The, it's not actually a card card. Just to try it. Yeah, they're playable. Yeah. They're like, like you can, like yeah. you are allowed to play them. Uh, this one is sort of like a synergy one, so I'm, it's not just in inherently busted on its own. So I think I'm probably just going to take this because it's just a good card. Though this is very interesting. Chat, I feel like like this could be fun. This could be fun, but I feel like this could be very fun. There you go. Shamblin Crenshaw says, because of commander players answers a shocking number of questions. Lord Hosk said, at one point I had over a million channel points, but I put them all into Will They Extract in Tarkov. Mm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Trusting that James could make it out. He never did. What do you think, chat? Is this, I think this is the most fun. This is the most fun. Incredible. Yeah. I, Amazing, right? Yeah. I, I, I respect, well, so though, that, not to have that Hosk kept believing in you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was his first mistake. Oh. 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 Neat. There's some good stuff in there. Yeah. Wow. What does this do? Oh, yeah. Should probably change the TV in the back there. Oh, so oh I forgot to do that. Oh, whoops. Oh, we can do that. Yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. We, we, we were recording Tap Tap Is that seed a little while ago. Good. Uh, I think so. I, it did get a reprint, but oh, I think okay. it's still a few dollars. We could just make it whatever whatever we want. Look, it's movie night. Hooray! Hey. hey, Paul can just put whatever he wants up there. Let's watch oh, more this Friday Nights responsibly. <laughs> Incredible. 
start with this whole routine? Yeah, that seems like a pretty good start. This seems good. This seems like I'm already getting very greedy now. On pick two? I love it. I need some mm. fixing. If I Sounds like Misty right. Boosties to me. I think I'll take this one. Oh, Nickus, that's another good one. For the for the basic mom home decor in this house, we respect the keg. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need Going someone else green. who doesn't have a keg member among their staff to make that one. Yeah, but I like it. What does this do? So many words. Friends don't let friends keep one landers. Mm. Oh. Sure, why not? <gasps> <laughs> I, I just saw this and got real excited. I was like, ooh! So, I mean, what does that say about me, really? It's good to like pick your colors from your first pick, right? And just not look at the rest of the cards? It's fine to that's do that, that, honestly. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. You just have to figure out if you're getting the same colors as other people. Wait, I don't have a second yeah. color yet. What was I doing? I could have picked any of those. That's, we're fine. This is fine. Got three packs. Oh, man. No, I do. Man. What do you do? Oh, okay, cool. That's such a good card name. Oh yeah, I'm taking that. Hmm. Oh sick. For each color. Okay. It's not a roller skate. It's technically a tabletop dolly. We've just only used it for that maybe twice. Big we've used pig? It, we've used it way, way, way more for passing cards back and forth across our giant trapezoid. We, yes. I mean, I was thinking about it because it, it does. It's a good card. It does cycle. <laughs> Have you tried it as a roller skate? I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to ruin the structural integrity of its very smooth wheels. See, it's a it's a delight to pass back and forth across the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's funny. We do one of the cards we were missing was the only, the only black border card in that whole set. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. Uh, well, I'll take that then. Wait, I've seen this pack before. for us. Does that mean we're getting cut on everything we want to do? How many turns does that take? I guess we just I assume this many turns. Huh. You know what? Sure. Sure. Let's see what happens. We may not even run it. Man, they came back. Okay. Oh, interesting. This is my pack. Yep. Six player draft. You see your packs a lot sooner than you think. Kazoom tight. 
I don't think Chad could hear that, but so someone Beach, was having a real big sneeze elsewhere in the moon base. Mm. Unless that was Paul. That was not me. All right. Big sneeze. And I mean big, big. You hurt? How did you hear that? You didn't hear that. Lies. And slander? Lies and slander. Both of them at the same time, frequently. Clip it. Maybe if yeah, Cameron ticket. says Gesundheit, it's like everyone has the like <laughs> mass hallucination that they heard a sneeze right beforehand. Mm -hmm. That's just how good of an audience they are. All right, chat, we're doing it. We wheeled. This pack has nothing for us. That's quite exciting. What the? I'm just staying in my lane. God. What on earth? I think I'm nice. just going to take this because it's kind of a color I'm in. All right. I'm just taking cards that I think are powerful, and we'll sort out the colors later. says Canada is a small country sound travels it travels around easily <laughs> <laughs> no and no it just travels easily because there's a lot of nothing in between mm. all the sounds mm -hmm. that's a good point retro hibiscus the fact that we opened steam flogger boss is really rubbing it in yeah yeah that's old as ice mystery booster packs yeah it still tickles me when learning the lesson for myself don't look at the preview because your cards are on it <laughs> yeah. mm. all I saw was the vague outline of a couple magic cards I mean it's okay your opponent is James so yeah yeah you're not getting too much info I don't want any of this that would uh, <laughs> ghosting <laughs> ghosting their draft would also involve being able to follow what is going on in my own draft <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. Nobody is in terrible red cards. Looks like terrible red is open, everyone. <laughs> awesome. Molten Rain coming your way. There's still time for you. Hey. Unless James takes it. I mean, I guess Molten Rain is pretty bad and limited. Nope. Molten Rain. It destroys any land, right? Yeah. Just only burns them if it's not basic. <laughs> it's not that bad. Everyone Some go fun. dome and others lose a plane. Sweet. <laughs> Molten so, chat, we kind of are going in this zone. That was a good pickup for us, I think. And then I just tried to stay mostly within my vi I think this is could be really handy for, like, finding things I can cast. Yeah. If they Need miss the land drop, then that's game. <laughs> <laughs> God, that's what the new season of Friday Night should have. Parodies of chocolate rain. Yeah. <laughs> 15 year old. Way like, ahead of you. Yeah. <laughs> you know. What? Sick. Oh. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't think I'm this. I don't think I'm that guy. You don't want to be that guy. Dang, that that's seems very good. funny. Oh. Is this good? I don't even think this is good. In one v one limited. Um, Kathleen, I have a question. Unless yes. I get this. Should I go for the card that this. I believe is good, <coughs> okay. or the card that looks fun? 
Ooh, that's a that's a tough. That's call, a man. really tough call, and it depends kind of what the rest one. of your deck is doing and all of those. And things. if I wheel this, I'll take it. <laughs> Chat, She's is this... right. There's there has to be a balance. You want to make sure that your deck is somewhat fun. I'll Other, have fun. Otherwise, either why way. are we here? I'll have yeah. fun either way. But yeah. but like yeah, if you've already got some fun cards, then maybe take the one that's just good. Oh, there's so okay. many good cards in this pack. So you get the fun one. Okay, great. Chat, there's nothing for us in this pack. Do I just take this? This card? The, 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 this word on this card does not begin to describe how that word this card is. It's, I've lost games to that card. It is deeply upsetting. All it says is scry, though. There. <clears throat> Zoom. Oh, that's sweet. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. I probably am going to take this fun card. Oh, no. So much land destruction going around in these packs. Ooh. A little this taste of Estrog there, chat. You know, I'm gonna take this one, and I might wheel that. There's a chance. There's a chance I wheel it. Oh, hey. Hmm. If you took the playtest card that I think you took, I didn't take the. I didn't take the card. I just hate it. <laughs> not not in the last pack. In, in the a, last pack. Uh, yeah, a life gainy. Oh, uh, yeah. This card? Yeah. Did you take it? I did. <laughs> All right. I look forward to seeing that. Swarm I didn't hate. Of locusts. <laughs> That's really funny. I didn't hate draft it. I just hate it, period. Yeah, the one I just passed. Oh, that's good too, actually. That's yeah. that's a that's a that's a card kingdom button. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't hate draft it, I just hate it. Mm -hmm. You know what? We'll take that I stupid guess that thing. Way. It's not playable, it just looks that way. Oh. Nice. He's not heavy. He's my commander. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, there's so many good cards in this pack. There's a lot of good cards going around this particular. Yeah. I was I split between like three or four different cards in that particular pack. Yeah. I don't know what this I want is wrong, here. But we're I don't doing it. think I want to go into this vibe here. I, I think want, that's too I much. To, I just want you to send me them wheels. I know. I'm sorry. No, I'm still fine. picking. I don't know. Take honestly, take your time. I'm just picking up commons here. I'm being very. That's fine. You're building a building a, a you know a reliable deck full of commons, non commons. Someone in chat co uh, called that, by the way. What? Uh, no. Um, when I said what James I said. was like. I'm passing you a card that I think that you'll want, and someone in someone in chat was like, "Oh, I think it's this card," and it was that card. And uh, yeah, I'll take it. Why not? That sounds hilarious. Let, let's go. Good job, Flat Luigi. You called it. <laughs> she even said, "I can't believe this is still in the pack." Yeah. I don't think That's... it was actually related to anything. So I can't believe this is still in the pack. And even, yeah. and Evil Batman says, "I also too cannot believe this button is in a pack of cards." Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the great thing about people in chat saying that is that there's literally no way to tell what card they're talking about. Yep. That's, what, the, that's the, why I don't even think... I think that she was just saying it as a suggestion for a Card Kingdom button. Because the latency is uh, different for everybody. Hmm. It's like people in Desert Bus chat <laughs> saying, lag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Got a present coming your way, Kathleen. Oh, that's oh, yeah. fun. Shoot that guy. Of course, the other way to interpret that is it's it works as a comment regardless of what's going on on screen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the ever popular chat meme of go left, which was worse because it was back before um, which improved their latency. So it was literally like 30 seconds delayed. 
Mm. There's so much good stuff in here. What do you do? Oh. Why he look like spiky Karn, though? Oh, there is land destruction in this set. <laughs> yeah, there was a... Well, there was a, a molten rain in the first a, pack. Yeah, in the first pack, yeah. yeah. But there's a there's another one here. Interesting. Set here being defined loosely. That's true. There's like 16, 1700 cards, I think. And each one of them destroys a land. Mm -hmm. Each one of them more hateful than the last. Mm -hmm. The first idea I had... I'm going to see Kathleen's reaction when she sees oh, yeah. what's in that pack. Yay! There it is. <laughs> <laughs> the first idea I had when I was first playing Magic for, like, I'm going to make a deck was Enchantress. Mm -hmm. The second one I had was like, hmm, let's look up all the land destruction cards and see how that would go together. Uh, and then I learned, oh, that's BM, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, wait, I've just learned I'm a monster. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. never actually I, made it. A friend once worst. told me, if you want to continue playing this deck, I will build an actual land destruction deck. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if you and your friends want to become tournament grinders, there's a, there's a way to do that, you know? Huh. Yeah, but Matt had his surge arc without first building the deck, destroying someone at the table, and then having that person tell them, you need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Matt came to that conclusion on his own. Yeah. Hi, Surge, if you're watching. Someone says, manners and card games are so weird. People in Yu-Gi-Oh hate burn decks, but people in Magic are okay with it. Really? Fascinating. No. I don't think it's that one. So it's probably just this. Man. Still some good cards in this pack. I'm surprised this is like the third time I've seen this one. I feel like we're getting cut on one color, but we've got a lot of another color. We'll figure it out. I think it's okay. Yeah, I assume that burn operates differently. Or is it because, is it, is it like a relative thing? Like, they, you know, they hate burn decks, but, and, but magic, you know, is okay with burn decks because it knows that there's much, much worse things. <laughs> Brownie Point says burn in Yu-Gi-Oh operates like a stacks deck that's hard to interact with. That sounds miserable. Okay, fair enough. What do you do? Oh, I mean, that's kind of amazing. Also, it's at worst case, it's a Savannah Lions. Sweet. Almost grabbed Nelson's stack and took a card from it. <laughs> Man, what? I've had to deal with those drafts. Now, chat, here's a good question for you. We keep getting these kinds of cards, but we could just get this card, which would just maybe fix things. Like, I'm not going to hate draft this, because somebody at the table surely wants it, but it's very powerful. Chat says fix. I'm inclined to agree, but I'm sad to see that card go. Says he's not going to hate draft it. Says because. Lists a reason that he should hate draft it. I want, I want whoever at the table is in that color to build a deck that they enjoy. <laughs> and hope it's not Nelson. Because <laughs> I think I'm playing Nelson. You are. Okay.
Yeah, I took I took what Chad is calling hot topic carn because it's castable, not because I think I necessarily want it. Hot topic carn. Mm. That didn't make it as far as I was thinking it would. Cool. How is how is this last pick? Mm -hmm. It was a good pack. Harrow. Okay, in my defense, Chad, the I want you to do the thing, your deck to do the thing, and then countering the thing. Oh, right. That's, there was no good way out of that. There was true. no, like, polite way to resolve that situation. <laughs> <laughs> right. What was I supposed to do? Tell Ben? No, no take seat backsies. This is the PPR. <laughs> <laughs> this matters. Yeah, it's, if you can't if you can't get out of it in, like, a good way, get out of it in a hilarious way. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. Just dab on your way out. <laughs> exactly. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. That's, for, a, that's a good common. That's a take. That's nice. All right, Ooh. yep. Uh -huh. Isn't this card like a Ooh. trillion dollars? One trillion, yes. What? I'm sure that's correct. <laughs> I want to see it now. Yeah, well, I mean... Getting all bricked it's up. It's absolutely getting past, do you? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, I guess this is just a playtest card. They printed a real card with this name, like just now. Right? Yeah, yeah. I guess there's no. Uh, huh. Yeah, the the no two cards get the same name thing doesn't apply to playtest cards. Doesn't apply cards. to playtest cards. No. Oh, which one? This is so boring, chat. But I think I'm just gonna take this because it's. Uh, Let me look at the rest of this. Do I have anything removal. that's like big and scary enough that I want to do of that some to sort. it? I guess this. <gasps> How many creatures do I even have? Hold on. Oh, I'm stuck between two. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, chat saying I'm responsible. Sounds like fun to me. I know, but that I'm not in that. I can't do that. It's too late. You're drafting responsibly? I try to. Uh oh. I don't know what I'm doing. It's not that. Oh, it's angry. All right, fine. I'll take it. I'll take that one. Ooh. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah, this card is a oh. quadrillion dollars. Oh, that's yeah. actually. Yeah. This yeah. is actually relevant for my deck. Mm. Mm. Uh. And, like, for good reason. <laughs> wow. I, I stopped reading it after. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. After the first few pages. All right. No, I mean, it's good I'm just going to take this. How much is that? Is it actually worth? I don't yeah. know. It, it's Who needs a Patreon? Two or three, billion two dollar or card. Three, two or three digits. Like, it's more than $10. <laughs> mm -hmm. It might be more than $100. Wow. I, wow. I don't actually know. But it, I remember... Has I, it been taken? Nope. It's still in the pack, and it's going to table twice. It's a playtest card. It's yeah. a playtest card <laughs> oh. that no one's going to put in their limited deck. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're I've all like, going to get to I've see it. I've taken this. I'll just tell you. It's Sliv Drassi Monstrosity. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, I yeah. mean, if the Harrow went last, that means no one's playing it. Fair. Yeah, that's fair. How much is it worth, chat? Keep in mind, this is the 2021 version. Oh right, yeah, it's not the original printed. Correct. Copy, yeah, yeah, hilarious. That's actually weirdly relevant in a way that it I don't is. think should matter. But here we are. Magic five bucks. Magic the Gathering. I mean, okay, okay. It feels wrong not taking that other thing, but here we are. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, another one. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, four dollars. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Four dollars. All right. All right. All right. Probably. Uh, yeah. So, you know, close. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Pretty close, honestly. It's, it's like, yeah, it's. I'm gonna have to. Uh, it's like a couple bucks. Yeah. I truly do not understand I why there's such a discrepancy between the 2019 and 2021 printings yeah. of this. I mean, like anything, it's the first edition, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess that's, but it's, that's they're, true they're, for they're, so many things. They're different in no discernible way. Yeah. yeah. I thought the I thought the original was more than 25. Maybe it was at one point. Hey, I mean, maybe it's only 25 now. It was really definitely. It, I thought it was at, like 50 or 80 or something. At one time, I think yeah. the original Sliv Drazi Monstrosity was I mean, over 100 bucks. Oh, easily. Okay. Yeah. I think some of the original ones when they first came out and because it was so hard to get these right the yes. only way you could mm. do this was mm. convention right and, and they had just started laying them out when all the conventions exactly yeah. and so like yeah there were so few in the market that 
I remember that uh, when these when this these came out, Watsi was being being very coy about the actual cards that are in them. And uh, so, like, and we we had the convention boosters pretty early, like we did a draft with the convention boosters pretty early, and uh, uh, I was able to send um, send a bunch of info to um, I think it was the tapped out guys because they like the the you know the big card you know tapped out and scryfall and the big card databases literally didn't know what the cards were. Yeah, like they. Nobody would tell, like, uh, the official sources didn't know, like, what all the playtest cards are. So, and, like, what editions were actually, like, we knew the list of, like, the actual names of the cards, but we didn't know what editions were actually in the packs, so. We need three more playable cards, people. Come on. <laughs> I'll try. Help me out. It's our job to somehow... Put I mean, them into the packs that you've already seen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I need to like take them one out of my sack and slip them into the packs for you. Oh, fun. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I like that this Ladrazi Monstrosity is is uh, stuck stickered to a uh, Devoid card. Hmm. That's a neat. That's that's just a neat detail. I guess it wouldn't fit with the aesthetic, but you would think that the uh, those cards would be silver border, but I guess they don't do that what? anymore. This, yeah. this playtest card is called Red Herring. Yeah, yeah I know. That's, that's what I was saying earlier. That uh, that's what uh, that, that's the card Paul and I were talking about when we were talking, saying that I guess that card name duplication doesn't count for um, uh, playtest cards. I mean, it, it apparently it did. Uh, Mess up some card databases. I bet it did. Just like, uh, in fact, when we were we were setting up for doing, we were going to be doing, you know, the un uh, uh, unstable, that one which has both uh, cards with the same name, but different text, and cards with the same name, uh, and like different flavor text, mm -hmm. uh, also messed up a bunch of card databases. Yeah. Because like we're having, like we have two copies of the very cryptic command. We've only got one ineffable blessing. Those are the rare ones. We've got three knights. All right. Yeah. Seven. The attraction, the attractions from. Uh, oh, from Infinity. Infinity, true, which that, have yeah. different numbers. Yeah. yeah. At least Boop. those have. At least those are very obviously different in the numbers. Yeah. That but they roll. But. Before the those sets came out, though, it was like that was a a. You know, hard and fast rule was that all you know every magic card has a unique n name in English. Yeah. Uh, to the extent that I think, in some cases, databases were actually like keying off that, and then they were like, "Oh crap, we have to change our whole system because <laughs> mm -hmm. we can't key off that anymore." I appreciate the joke on very cryptic command, for what it's worth. There's just six different copies of that card that all do different stuff. Mm. Yeah, yeah. It's also like probably a reference to the MPR card sent out. Uh, if, if you didn't play back then, uh, if you played F and M often enough, they would send you cards in the mail. Yeah. yeah. And one of them was cryptic command, and all the cards were just full art. Oh, the full art cryptic yeah, command. Yeah, textless yeah. cryptic. So yeah, textless yeah. cryptic command is like one of the funnier mistakes that Magic has made, right? If someone played this across from me, I would call a judge and have it replaced. <laughs> yes. Okay, so at this point, we can just assume that nobody is playing red at all. It or, feels that way. Or they're confident enough that they can. Be wheel car yeah, they, they can wheel Karg and Dragon Lord because it costs red red. That's kind of where I'm at. I, th there's been so little fixing that I've seen go around. Mm -hmm. I don't think I opened any fixing in my... I saw one. I saw one piece of fixing and I passed it. Yeah. And I, I'm, I'm regretting it now. I should have taken this earlier. 
I mean, the new the new sets also have a f the fun sort of from a card database organizational standpoint that has bitten us a few times, uh, or has, bit, has bitten me occasionally. Is is that uh, not only are are the card card names no longer usable as a unique thing, card numbers aren't even usable as a unique thing. You know, cards will have the same. Uh, sometimes cards with different art will have the same collector number. And yeah. sometimes they have different collector numbers. It is entirely, I don't know, there's probably some internal reasoning behind when they change the collector number and when they don't, but like sometimes it's a, they, they use different collector numbers, but then sometimes promotional stuff uses the same uh, collector number for different art. Yeah, when Cameron and I were making the list of our missing unstable cards, I was like, all right, the novella mental that has flavor text that starts with the chain. Mm. Because there's no other way to differentiate mm. the, the different copies of Novella Mental. Outside of Unstable, do we know if Red Herring is the first time this has happened? Because I know there was a card from an earlier unset, like Unhinged, that was a race, but it said not not the Urza, not the Urza Saga one. Yeah. In parentheses. I think I think um, I think it's someone uh, a chat was saying it's actually happened twice with Murders at Karlov Manor because there was okay. also a playtest card called Pick Your Poison. Oh. Wait. Uh, yes, I picked one out of this. The other issue that has come up is. Um, there's a split card that's something in blood. Mm. Oh, and blood is al already like on another side, split well, card? Side blood. Well, no, but there's like a split card, so it's one half is called something, one half is called blood. Oh, okay. So blood is actually a card name. And oh. then there are blood tokens. Right. Uh, and so that's when they had to change it so that tokens aren't actually named. Uh, flesh and blood. Yeah, flesh, flesh slash blood. blood. Uh, and so that they they had to change it so that tokens are named blank t or they're named uh, type token, not just type. Like right. their token is implicitly part of the name. Otherwise, people could like pith a needle for blood and stop all of your blood tokens from doing anything. Oh, uh, weird. Huh. All right, everybody done? Yep. Yes. Thanks yeah. Yes. All right. Well. Then we're going to take a little bit of a break while we go and build our decks, and then we're going to come back for round one. But after round one, don't forget, we're going to give away, courtesy of Card Kingdom, a collector booster box of uh, Ravnica Remastered. Not, again, not literally this one. They're going to mail it to you, and you have to be in the U.S. to win it. But that's going to happen. So, yeah, don't go away. We're going to take a quick break and come back and play some, uh, some uh, Mystery Booster. Hello and welcome back to the Friday Night Paper Fight here on the Loading Ready Run Mega Entertainment Network. Aww. I am here with Graham. Hi. And Nelson. Here. And they're going to have some fights with magic cards. Here. But I want you to stay tuned because tonight we are giving That's away so a whole box of collector's boosties for Ravnica Remastered courtesy of Card Kingdom. So stick around. We'll tell you how to win those. And why? After this game. Because they're having a sale. And it's going very well and quickly. So if you want to get some some good prices on Ravnica Remastered, uh, get your orders in. Yeah, it's like $4 a pack or yep, something like for that. A, for a regular draft booster, three ninety nine. That's a good deal, it's honestly. A fun, it's a fun draft. It, Go quick. It, the a, sale might out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, But aside from that, we're not doing a Ravnica no. booster draft. We did a mystery draft as voted on by you and your kind support of watching this channel and spending all your channel points to skew the vote. Even though James did the exact same thing for uh, Innistrad. Hilariously, I think all of the like dumping of all of the dollars ch channel points just kind of even everyone's I, probably, you know, desires out. It's yeah. just hilarious. Democracy yeah. in action, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We have... Rolled some dice before the game start. Graham won, and you've both kept your cards and everything, and we're both ready to go. I yes. want to play magic. Let the battle begin. Thank Excellent. You, I'm going to start out with this incredibly powerful planes pass. That's a good one. I'm hoping oh. to find one of those as well, but I have an island first. Back to you. Let me just. Oh, are we not quite center? There we go. No, it's slightly skewed. All right, okay. here we go. Uh, draw. 
planes. Prepare to face the fury of Wall of Omens. That's a good one. Uh, it's, oh, right. I forgot. Because it's Mystery Booster. We're not right. using the card reader. Uh, Wall of Omens. It's a 0-4 defender from originally from Zendikar. And when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. So I'll draw a card. Rise of Eldrazi. But yes, oh, set on the plane of Zendikar, of course, is right. correct. I don't need to be too yeah. pedantic here. Fortunately, I got a list of uh, 3,540 cards here. So wow, I'll, I'll be throwing these in manually. As All we right. go. Nice. Well, you're probably not going to be able to have access to this one. It's Unicycle, an artifact equipment vehicle for two mana. Uh, when, it's, when it's a creature, it's a 3-1. It has first strike and haste. Also, equipped creature has first strike and haste. It equips for one mana or accrues for one power. Go ahead. <laughs> but it's not a creature on its own because it's a vehicle. Yes, or an it's equipment. an equipment vehicle. So it gotcha. isn't a creature right now. It threatens to give my other creatures first strike and haste or become a 3-1 first strike haste. Wow. Although not at the same time. If it is a, an equipment and becomes a creature, it will fall off of the cr creature that it's equipping. That's I, amazing. I love that the guy is also wielding a unicycle. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah, the person riding a unicycle, holding a unicycle. Uh, all right, I'm going to play a Swamp and tap two for Tithe Drinker. Nice. It's a 2-1 lifelink with Extort, one of my favorite mechanics. It's a good one. Um, and that's going to be my turn. Go ahead. Untap. Planes. Yeah. Thinking. doesn't work okay let's do this instead it's recruiter of the guard Ooh. from not battle bond conspiracy yeah conspiracy 2 maybe conspiracy 2 conspiracy 2 collector or collector code cn2 oh right perfect thank you uh anyways a 1-1 one, one human soldier for three mana when it enters the battlefield i may search my library for a creature card with toughness two or less reveal it put it in my hand and then shuffle my library cool so i will do that so it's actually called conspiracy take the crown right I have made the joke so many times about calling it Conspiracy Watch the Throne that I had to be like, <laughs> hold on, that's not what it's really called. <laughs> I had to like really make sure I knew what I was doing. People in chat are saying Conspiracy 2, boot the snoot. That's, that's fantastic. That's also a good one. I'm going to put Sky Scanner into my hand. A three mana one one flying that draws a card. When I ATBs. love Sky Scanner. Viewers of the Crack a Pack series will know that how much I love Sky Scanner and how much Matt loves to put horrifying uh, emojis on it. Just covers it with eyes. That's horrible, mm -hmm. Matt. Yeah. To uh, be fair, it's got know. eyes on it. It does have eyes. It needs eyes. You know, you got to scan somehow. You got to scan the skies. How are you going to scan the skies if you can't see with your eyes? Mm -hmm. Back to you. Thank you. Do you, uh, you guys have any uh, deck names? Oh, deck names, oh, good yeah. idea. Um, my deck is called Blue White Pass All of the Blue White Cards. Um, colors are white black, as you may be able to determine. And I'll get back to you on a, on a name. I'm trying to figure out. Sorry, I can do better than that, Paul. Oh, you've already got it in there. Yep. I mean, it's fine. I, uh, <laughs> I, opened, <laughs> I opened up a blue planeswalker and a mull drifter. And I took the Mull Drifter, and then immediately Matt was also in blue white on my left. Mm. That's kind of so, long for a name. Yeah, yeah, that's a long name, but, but that's why I went with pass all the blue white cards. Well, this, was, is, this is why I was getting cut so bad on blue. Right. Everyone apparently, I saw you play Wall of Omens on too. I'm like, oh, another cantripping creature. Is everyone in the same deck? <laughs> uh, all right. I was hoping to draw a planes there for the maximum value of this, but unfortunately. Um, uh, I'm casting Gwilion Hedge Mage. Oh, fun. It's been a minute. Yeah, so I'm casting that. I'm going to pay extort for Tithe Drinker. I lose so life. Nelly and loses a life and I gain a life. life. Gwilion Hedge Oops. Mage enters the battlefield. Because I control two planes, mm -hmm. I may create, and I would like to create, a 1-1 one, one Kithkin Soldier token. Kithkin okay, soldier. give me a second here. Yep, take your time. Um... And but you don't get the two if black. I, if right. I had a second okay. swamp, I could right. also put a minus one minus one counter on something. Which Fair enough. In this case, I guess would just be the recruiter, right. but um, but I don't. But that's fine. Notably, I believe the only hag wizard. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> the only hag wizard that we know so of far. so far. That's right. Okay, I have a planes as well. Um, thinking. Yeah. I'm trying to, Kathleen, help me workshop this. I'm trying to figure out a way to do like um, uh, some kind of malapropism for the deck name about like 
life gain and like life in the fast lane, like like life in the gain lane, or mm. like there's got to be something. How do you feel about making an Eagles reference for that? Life in the fast lane. Hmm. Well, that's, yeah, but that's just, uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, life in the fast lane, but, like, life in the fast gain. Is that it? Life in the fast gain? Maybe that's it? Fast in in the life gain, Shambling Kremchar. That's that's good. Life is a fast gain? Wow, chat's really going ham with this. I appreciate that. I'm going to go, I'm going to go Shambling Kremchar's suggestion. Uh, Fast in the life gain. I'm going to zig when I maybe I'm supposed to zag and cast Whoa. Angelic Destiny here, targeting my Recruiter of the Guard. That's going to kill me. So, uh, Enchant Creature yeah. uh, for four mana. Mm-hmm. Enchant Creature gets plus four, plus four, and has flying first strike and is an angel in addition to its other types. Jeez. When it dies, I must return the Angelic Destiny to my hand. I will attack you for five. Wow, we. Yeah, I take five. Go ahead. Now, Studious. Viewers will note that Graham's attack here is actually better, but I'm hoping to make up for that in future turns. Writes down, also life gain. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> no, but <laughs> just hoping to like still close the race out. So it's when enchanted creature dies, return angelic. De- you just get it back. Well, you can blow the angelic destiny up with like a disenchant effect. Or you can bounce the Recruiter of the Guard if you have, like, a blue spell. Right. Or you can exile Recruiter of the Guard with a white card that mm. does exiling. It's only specifically when it dies. Interesting. But, yeah, if you want to use, like, regular black removal, okay. I get the enchantment back. Um, and that's tapped, so it can't crew the unicycle. That's right, yeah. So Shields I'm gonna, are I'm, down. Yeah, I'm going to go to combat and hit, swing in for five. So I take five and Graham gains two. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm just going to... I'm just... My plan is just sort of to stay alive, so maybe this is bad, but I'm going to cast Under City's Embrace. Okay. Uh, target opponent sacrifices a creature. If okay. I control a creature with power four or greater, I gain four life, which I don't, but I am going to pay the extort, so I drain Nelly for another one. Okay, so the drain happens, sacrifice the recruiter, and then I return the Angelic Destiny. Oh, right, it also goes to the graveyard, uh, because like the way things work is like I sacrifice this creature, and then state-based actions, put the enchantment into the uh, graveyard immediately, and then this oh, so trigger, this trigger happens. Like you can, yeah, graveyard. you can oh, cool. scavenging use it. Yeah, if you have if you have a way to instant speed exile a card, you can also get it that way. All right, interesting. Yeah, cool. Carry on. Nelson giving you lots of outs that you don't have. Yeah, exactly, wow. yeah. Hey, it's, I appreciate it. It's like, well, you can do this. Well, I bet I could. I bet I could. I won't, but I could. Yeah. I'll play a Blasted Landscape. Oh, card yeah, that yeah. I haven't seen too many times before, but uh, taps for a colorless or cycles. Mm-hmm. Sky Scanner. Draw a card. I love Sky Scanner. And it's our friend Sky Scanner. Suspicious Bookcase. Zero four wall with Defender and pay three and tap. Target creature can't be blocked this turn. It's probably nothing. Back to you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh my gosh. All the books were dusty with this use. Save the one titled Camouflage and its practical applications. Oh, uh, fours <laughs> everywhere. Uh, Grams is better, of course, but it's the other thing. All right, now the unicycle is threatening. Right, because now you can crew it with the scanner and then it becomes a 3 1 first strike. Danger, unicycle. Yeah. Danger. Danger, Bill Wubbinson. The sky scanner can now finally achieve its dream to ride a unicycle, says uh, Hong Kong Ka. <laughs> there are very few magic creatures that I would not enjoy. Seeing ride a unicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Emrakul on a unicycle? Yes. Shiv and Dragon riding a unicycle. Racing uh, Sarah Angel. I'm going to play a Blight Soil Druid. Very uh, good. We'll pay for Extort. Okay. Extort happens. Yep. And uh, I don't have any good attacks, so go ahead. Okay. Blight Soil Druid. Uh, yeah, I can tap it and pay a life to add a green to the mana pool. I didn't end up... For those who are watching my draft closely, I did not end up actually splashing green. It's just sort of, it's off-color pain ramp, <laughs> I guess. There's some expensive cards in the deck. It seems like it's not a terrible idea. I don't have to use that green mana for green things. I could use it for generic mana. Mm-hmm. If you use it to pay the extort cost, then it's... Revenue yeah, then, neutral. exactly. Then it's free I'm, real estate. I'm life neutral on, the, on that exchange. I want to cast Caught in the Brights on Tithe Drinker 
It's uh, an aura that says, Enchanted Creature can't attack or block. When a vehicle I control attacks, exile Enchanted Creature. Oh, and, then wow. I'll, and then I'll crew right. Unicycle and You've a, got a vehicle. attack yeah. for three and exile your Tithe Drinker. Sweet. All right, so that goes to your graveyard. Tithe Drinker, that's a bummer, gets exiled, and I will block the Unicycle with Wall of Bones. Sure. Totally fine. I also have Adonto Vanguard hey, from nice. original Exelon. Yeah. Yes, unicycle getting into the red zone for maximum value. The the lights on this unicycle are too bright. I love that they installed they uh, they installed headlights on the unicycle. Yeah. Why did they put the LED headlights on the unicycle? <laughs> so my, my Adonto Vanguard is going to be very scary once you put Angelic Destiny on it. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> that's the plan, yeah. So this is a two mana 1-1 one, one vampire soldier that gets plus two plus two when it's attacking, and I can pay four life to give it indestructible until I'm turn. Alrighty. Go ahead. Okay. Interesting. All right, well. Now I'm no. Now I no longer have to worry about trying to craft craft what I'm doing around extort. So mm. instead, I'm just going to do this. Oh no! I fixed Graham's mana. No, it's fine. Locks it on Warhammer. Oh, I see. You have an Angelic Destiny too. And I'm going to pay one life. Okay. To equip Locks it on Warhammer to my Gwilion Hedge Mage. Fantastic. And I will attack with Gwilion Hedge Mage, which is now a five-two with Trample and Lifelink. Don't love that. Locks it on Warhammer. By the way, I mean you can see it on the screen, but it's plus three plus zero oh, Trample and Lifelink. All right, I will take five, and Graham will gain five. All right. Going ham over here. Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay, untapped. Find a land. Um... Red Arrogant Knight says, for those who don't remember this bit of magic lore, and I do not, the unicycle card is a reference to the great designer search and the disagreements amongst the submitted designs regarding whether a unicycle should be a vehicle or an equipment. Oh, nice. It should be a vehicle. You don't uh, well, wield this, it. This one's a vehicle. And an equipment. Yes. It's both. See, I do remember that there was the... the this gives trample, right? Not just yeah. lifelink? Okay, great. There was the 4-4 the four, four Flying Vigilance card that cast for three green-black. Oh, okay. And, and again, this was a great designer search joke because there was this. I, I just I remember this debate. It was like a week long on Twitter. It felt like a month, but it was a week on Twitter of like, because black can do flying and green can do oh, vigilance. Right, right. The green black. Right. Sarah Angel. Yeah, yeah right, and, right. and it's like, you could make an argument that a four four flyer with vigilance could be a green and black creature, but it feels wrong. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It was a whole thing. I'll put the Angelic Destiny back on the Edge of Vanguard yeah. and attack four seven. Yeah, I, uh, I take seven. I think then I'm also supposed to equip the Unicycle to the Sky Scanner. Go ahead. Okay, so now it's a it's not a vehicle, but it's the Sky Scanner is a first is a is a one one with first strike. Yeah. Okay. And haste. And haste. It is still a vehicle. So, but if you crew it, it falls off as an equipment. That's right. So, like, I have a 1-1 one, one haste sky scanner. With first strike. With first strike, yeah. 1-1 one, one first strike but haste. But you can tap the sky scanner to crew the unicycle, which will then fall off yes. and become a 3-1 with haste. Yes. That's that's very funny. That's what I have going on here. Yeah. I he's, love this. He's, like, holding the unicycle about to hit you, but then instead puts it down, jumps onto it, and runs <laughs> you over. Perfect. Um... Yeah, and that means that my Gwilion Hedge Mage has zero amounts of good attack, uh, which is fine. That doesn't help me. That doesn't really help me, but I, it's the only thing I can really do here, so I will do that. All right, five mana for Rot Feaster Maggot. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, exile target creature card from a graveyard. Uh, there's only one target, so I exile that. You're a recruiter of the guard. And I gain life equal to its toughness, one. And that's my turn. It's a 3-5. It's a 3-5. That's not bad. No, it's not. Yeah. Put a Loxodon Warhammer on it. It can potentially attack into a unicycle. <laughs> to a sky scanner holding. The sky scanner's holding the unicycle. But if it decides to get on the unicycle, that's where it gets frightening. Well, I can't hold it and be riding it at the same time. Of course not. That no. would be silly. 
Let me attack you for seven again. Yeah, I take seven. Okay. Um, and then... Just how is this guy scanner holding the unicycle? Just balanced on top. Carefully. Mm. Very delicately. Good. Oh, I should have attacked this guy scanner too. That's okay. I'll cast... Can I main phase this? Yeah. Let's... Magnets, no. probably. <laughs> I'll, I'll cast a Dawn Glare Invoker and then say go. Oh, yeah, all right. So that's a 2-1 flyer and 8-mana tap all creatures target player controls. Okay. Yes, another Rise of Eldrazi. That's a good one. Yeah. Wall of Omens, okay. friend. Yeah. Interesting. That is a card that exists. From the second cycle of Invokers, I think. Maybe, maybe there's another one in there, but I can remember Invokers from Onslaught Block. Uh, yep, we're gonna move the Warham to my Rot Feaster Maggot. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Whoops. So now that is a six five. Okay. And I'm gonna attack with Rot Feaster Maggot. I will crew the unicycle. Mm -hmm. Um. I'll. I Cast an Acrobatic Maneuver targeting Sky Scanner. So this is an instant mm -hmm. from Kaladesh for two and a white. I can exile target creature I control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control and draw a card. Is that chill? Yeah. So this is this is this is before blockers. Yes. Actually. Okay. Yeah, right. So that comes blockers. in. You draw a card off of that, and you draw a card from when Sky Scanner returns, right? Yes. Okay. So I'll draw two cards here. So. And then think uh, about blocks, unless you want to do stuff before uh, blocks. I should have thought to do this slightly differently, but I think this is fine. Uh, yes, continue, please. That's a lot of value. I'll block with Dawn Glare Invoker in Unicycle. All right, so I believe, so three damage in first strike, that doesn't kill it, but then this will trade once they trade. Yeah, but yeah. you have Trample, so you can deal yeah. four to me, right? Cause I yeah, so I do, do do, and this is, six. yeah. Okay, so I deal four to Nelson and I gain six. And Rot Feaster Maggot dies, and Warhammer falls off, but I've seen everything, and then I pass the turn. Or he escaped across the grass. Okay, I'll play a planes. Um, that's true, Nelson being at uh, Megadas points out. Nelson being at three means he can no longer make a Danto Vanguard indestructible. Not that he can pay that and it will kill him. The game of magic will not allow him to pay That's that. That's right. You need to have a cost in order to pay a cost. Um, what is Nelson doing? You're like, come on, magic. I'm good for it. You're like, you're, he goes, you're going to die. You're not going <laughs> to. Do I need to do that? Yeah. Well, it saddens me, but mm -hmm. I will sacrifice a planes to cast Angelic Purge, targeting Loxdon Warhammer. No. <gasps> so this exiles target artifact, creature, or enchantment. Another exile effect. Whoa. Right. Yep. My Loxodon Warhammer hath been exiled. I feel like I should be more neutral because I'm supposed to be the table fern, but I am slightly biased towards my husband, I suppose. That's uh, reasonable. I think he's doing fine. He's yeah, ahead I'm, on life points. I'm, I'm, yeah. I, I feel okay. Things are good over in your husband's world right now. Uh, I'll play this Warden of Ego Sile mm. and attack you for one. I would like, before combat, Oh, actually, before combat. I would like to do, I'd like to do a thing. Do a thing. I'm going to pay two mana. To expose the evil. Right, I keep wanting to do this. Expose evil. Sure. Uh, tap up to two target creatures Great. and investigate. So I'd like a clue. A clue? Uh, I can get and I'd you like a clue. to tap, shocking no one, the Adanto Vanguard and Warden of Evil's Isle. Sure. I'll attack with no one. Go Great. ahead. Cool. <laughs> Untap. That would be a good one for murders on Call of Manor as well. There it is. Swamp. Uh oh. I don't know. The 
there could be one blue mana. There could one be counter spell. Mana. Counter spell costs two blue mana. Well, I mean, there could be a counter spell that maybe. maybe taxes me for up to two mana potentially. I don't know. I'm going to cast Exanguinate for X is three. I'll so, die. Okay. Exanguinate is a uh, deal or opponent, tar each opponent loses X life. It's a good card. It's, it's a good a, card. Good card in Commander. Yes, because it's each opponent. And you lose, you gain, gain life equal, equal to, to the, the life, life lost. lost. Yeah. Pretty silly. I would say that's one of my pet commander cards if it's I have any one. pet commander cards. Yeah. Alrighty. I just want my hands on screen too. <laughs> <laughs> Get in the mix. Man, there you man, go. Man, now man, your man, whole man. upper oh, half yeah. is on screen. Do a Charlie Chaplin bun dance. There you go. Or <laughs> else <laughs> 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 it goes back. <laughs> that's where our cats pick up this terrible behavior. Does Exsanguinate say each opponent? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Isn't so that messed up. That's why. RAP two of the giant scars of Mirrodin block sealed pre releases, right? Yeah. Cool. Are you allowed bun dances on stream to this flat, Luigi? Ooh. It's okay. It's after 5 p.m. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> And here. Yes. Yeah. We started so early. I know. But hey, there if you go. liked us starting at a little bit earlier at 7 p.m. Eastern rather than 8 p.m. Eastern. Too bad. We're never doing it again. <laughs> let us know. <laughs> this wasn't, to I'll be fair, first. this this was not like A-B testing for something, but it was because we thought we were going to do the rotisserie draft and we wanted more time but not to not stay later. Yeah. Um, I'll go first and I can keep. I will go second, and I can also keep. All right. Plans. Back to you, Graham. <laughs> We're already starting. But yeah, leave those comments in the oh. YouTube comments below so we can kind of like Plans. figure the vibes. EU people say it's slightly more friendly. Adonto Vanguard. Go oh, ahead. No. Not Wall of Omens. No. Tithe Drinker. Okay. Wall of Omens would have been very good there. Go! I mean... Weirdly, Tide Drinker is kind of just the same. Uh, thinking. Yeah. I don't want to hit you for three and then get hit for two lifelink. Go ahead. Right, I guess that's not a, that's overall not a tremendous change of you're, you're, or trade of. No, it's bad. You're up one point. Yeah. If I was at like double your life total, then it's fine because it it's a the three versus two lifelink is like an exchange where y both our life totals are going down. Right. Um, uh, all right. I will play a Wart Eye Witch. Yeah. So three two, and whenever it or another creature you control dies, scry one. Great. And I can't pay the extort, so I won't. So I'll pass the turn. I will play a planes and say go. Swamp. Uh, I will go to a combat. Okay. This combat. I will attack with Wart High Witch. No blocks. Cool. After that combat, a different combat. No. Um, a second main. Oh no. Uh, How many combat steps does he get? Thraben Foul Bloods. Yes. Uh, they're a three-two zombie dog with. Um, if I have delirium, which currently no, they get plus one plus one and menace. Okay, and I will pay the extort. So I drain the extort. Happens. Go. I will cycle blasted landscape. Nice. Play an island and cast a mull drifter for full price. Oh. And say go. Heck yeah, mull drifter. Everyone loves mull drifter. <laughs> He's a tremendous athlete. <laughs> um, I feel like mull drifter is like always slightly. Confused when it actually stays on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, oh, well, this is nice. <laughs> Guess I'll just keep drifting around. How many cards do you have in hand now? Because you six through two. All right. So many, but he's tapped out. It's yeah, true. I know. I'm just trying to figure out uh, what I want to do. No, I'm down again, Kathleen. You need to be sending me all the helpful anecdotes. 
Uh, Board state reminders. All right, I'll go to combat. Okay. I will attack with both of my three twos. He just hasn't tapped any mana on Elfin Watch Out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm a helper. <laughs> or a helper. Uh, I want to do that and that and that, or I just want to do that and that. If I'm just doing that and that, then I might as well do this. What does this do with the land again? Uh, it becomes it's a 4 get 3 with menace. with menace. But that's four different card types. Yeah. I will block this War Guide Witch with my Null Drifter. That makes sense. Thanks. And, uh, yeah, fair enough. I take three. And I. Yeah, Nelson takes three, and I scry. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Waiting. Yeah, actually, yeah. We'll leave that on top. Uh, all right. Mm, Writes down good card on top. Nice. Post combat. I don't know when I'm. I don't know how I'm supposed to play this card. Um, Sadistic Hypnotist. Oh, yeah. So 2 2 minion, sack a creature, target player discards two cards. Yep. That's what it does. So I could just take. You could, like, I could just sack my dogs. Trade your board for my, for my hand if yeah. you want. Yeah, and I, it's if like. How loud? How good or powerful is this? I don't actually know. I mean, it's a two for one every time. Yeah, I know. So like, so it's, it's like it three seems, two for ones. Seems pretty good. Or you could do one or two two for ones or a zero two for ones. But the thing is, if you do zero two for ones, you just spend five mana on a two two. Yeah, exactly. So which I, like I like, but it was a two for one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I I think yeah I think I am gonna do this actually. I guess I should have maybe see I was debating about like whether or not I wanted the scry from the witch or whatever. Oh, I see, I see. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna sacrifice three of Bloods to the sadistic hypnotist to make Nelson discard two cards. Okay, I'm gonna discard. Uh, is it these two? Yeah, I think so. I'll discard planes and crystal shard. Ooh, crystal shard. Yeah. Man. All right. Um, I have no further sadistic hypnotist shenanigans. Go ahead. At the moment. <laughs> you could keep sacking creatures. At present hour. Island. It doesn't I'll, say tap or anything. I'll attack for three. Uh, yep, no blocks. Post combat, cunning breeze dancer. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. All right. What's that one do? It's a whenever I, It's just got double prowess. Whenever I cast, it's a 4 4 flyer, and whenever I cast a non creature spell, it gets plus two, plus two instead of plus one, plus one. Ooh. Yeah. It's a good one. All right, fun. I don't know why they didn't just go with prowess, prowess, but <laughs> they didn't. From Dragons of Tarkir, the mostly dragons set. Uh, all right, I'll make maximum use. Oh, that's, oh! That's an instant? Huh. He's got an instant. <laughs> Neat. Uh, Watch out. <laughs> I'm just going to cast it now to make maximum use of my mana. He's uh, casting it during his main phase. I'm casting Beacon of Immortality. Oh, yeah, sure, go for uh, it. I'd like to double my life total. Yeah, you're at 36 now. Yeah, and then shuffle this into my deck. And then I will actually shuffle. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one just losing cards for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's going to be my whole turn. Okay, untapping. Uh, sure, that's a fine play. I'll cast. Uh, there is a card with prowess, prowess in Mark the Machines, and it, it, those are separate triggers. Yes. Oh, I guess if it had prowess, prowess, it would interact differently with panharmonicons or something. You know, like when oh, it, yeah. anything that says whenever a cre uh, thing doubling the. And if it says like only do this once per turn, then it's like that would be better, I guess. Yeah. Recruiter of the Guard. Yeah. Uh, is it just that one again? Kenra Spell Spear. Yeah, it turns into. It's a Should I get this one? Two two jackal warrior with trample and prowess, and then you transform it and then it turns into it's got like trample and ward and prowess prowess or something. It's silly. Right. Prowess prowess. I really like that that yeah, card. That, yeah, it's that's one of the, the yeah. Gitaxian Spellstalker. Three three trample right. ward two prowess prowess. Yeah. Oh. Anyways, oh. I went and found a sky scanner. Oh, I can't be mad at Sky Scanner. <laughs> no, and you shouldn't be. No, it's my favorite. Um You could be a bit mad. Nah. I won't tell anyone. I'll attack for seven. <laughs> no one will know. It'll just between be between you and us. Uh, I'll take seven. Okay. Winks at chat. Graham's down to 29. Warden of Evo's Isle. Oh, sweet. Pass. That's really good with Skyscanner. Yes. Drop. In fact, if you had three Warden of Evo's Isles, you could play a Skyscanner for free. <gasps> Hold on. Doesn't even say just this break can't this reduce hole? it to zero. Didn't yeah. break this thing all wide open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, bum, ba -da, ba -ba -da. Hmm. So 
too much flying over there. All right, I'll attack, or I'll, I'll, I'll move to attacks. Sure. I will attack with Sadistic Hypnotist. No blocks. Cool. I take two. Nelson takes two. And then I will pass the turn. All right, he's got six mana, Nelson, so watch out. <laughs> Do you want more help? I'm being feel like I'm being really helpful right now. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe like <laughs> maybe I can. If you could stack Graham's deck so it's all lands or something, that'd be cool. <laughs> I, I like help. I'll cast Sky Scanner. Oh wait, sorry. I'll cast Sky Scanner. Yeah, slightly cheaper Sky Scanner. Drawing a card. Um, do I do that first or do that? I think I do that. Oh, right, I could do both. Nope, I tapped wrong. I can't do both. It's okay. Um, I'll get over it. Combat. Yeah. I'll attack for... Nine. I'm going to do a thing. Okay. This is maybe... Maybe the wrong target, but I think it's putting out the most damage. No, I think it's a good target. So you have no idea what I'm doing or what I'm targeting. <laughs> That's okay. She's got your back supportive. no matter what. That's I appreciate right. it. I yeah. I appreciate it. Uh, it was right in our vows. I'm gonna that's true. Uh, I'm going to crib swap okay. the cunning breeze dancer. Crib nah. swap targeting cunning breeze dancer. Nah. No. Oh. Get out of the way of that. Oh, you're blinking it. I don't want to. I don't want a one-one changeling. Uh, right. Oh, I want sorry. a cunning breeze dancer. I'm, also, I'm paying extort. Oh yeah, extort's extort's legit. Yeah. Boop. Great. Okay. Uh, but this is chill. It yeah. gets. It turns into a six-six before it flickers out of existence, mm. and then I draw a card. But now you don't get your one-one shapeshifter token. I know. So what, what will I do without it? What did he do? Uh, oh, I cast acrobatic maneuver to protect my breeze dancer from crib, crib swap. Cool. Because so then I take five. Yeah, just five. I take five. Okay, and then I will say go. All right, I'll on tap. Sure. I'll block. I will <laughs> play Blight Soil Druid, yeah. and I extort. will pay for extort. Great. It's so big now. All right, go ahead. Well, I mean, it's Chunky no boys. bigger than it was last turn. Chunky boys and girls. Uh, they good. are very big. You have so many cards in your hand still. Play a planes. Yeah. And um, go to combat. I got something to say about it. Tap some of my friends. Yeah, I'd like to expose evil on these two, please. And I would like to pay the extort. Okay, I lose a life. You gain a life. Yeah. And I make a clue. I Dawn. appreciate the thematically correct clue token nice. oh, that was for the just card. The first one I grabbed. Well, Dawn. I appreciate it anyway. Dawn Glare Thanks, ben, Invoker. For... Oh. Pass. All right. Hmm. This could be a tricky turn. This could be. Us, but you plan. Um, hmm. what do I want to we didn't do? put that in our wedding vows. No. That song hadn't come out yet, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it had. I'm going to cash in this clue and draw okay. a card. Very good. Well, that, I don't think, changes to anything. It's neat, though. I mean, it changed from being on the top of your deck to being in your hand. <laughs> Correct. Changed its own zone. You know what? Yeah. You've got me there. Um, all right. I will pay five. <clears throat> I lose one life. And to play Rot Feaster Maggot. And okay. I will exile. I think it's just Mold Drifter is Mold my Drifter. Oh, I've, I've got some targets, you, but I'd you rather want exile one of yours. Totally yeah. fine. Well, you gain more life too, right? Or is it power? Or uh, oh, actually. Is it? Hold up. Oh, it's leave, toughness. Leave that there. So they're all the same. Yeah. I will exile Ward Eye Witch, and I will gain two life. Okay. Because mine also has two life in case it matters. Yes. So, okay. I should have done 
things differently. But we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. And we're great all fine here. And dandy. How are you? Uh, I'm pretty all right. Um, and then, you know what? What? I'm going to sacrifice Blight Soil Druid to make you discard two cards. I'll discard Island and Island. Dang. All right. Well, go ahead. I mean, I only have seven lands to play. Fair. It's the eighth one that I'm worried about. Yeah, exactly. Um... Thinking. You're at 28, huh? Something doesn't work. Sure. Let's attack for nine. Yeah, yes, I cannot block any of those creatures. I take nine. Okay. He's at 19. At 19. Suspicious bookcase. <laughs> Go. Draw. So I realized what I should have done the previous turn is animate dead. Oh, cool. Targeting Mull Drifter. Of course. Because it says a graveyard. Oh! Draw two cards. Uh, yeah. Also, uh, I'd like to pay the extort on Animate Dead. I lose the life you gain a life. And I will draw two cards. That seems good. <gasps> then you can sack it to make him pitch his last card. I was thinking about it. But I think also, I can only do that at sorcery speed, and um, Mull Drifter flies. <laughs> Meaning true. Mull Drifter can also soak up f between four and six damage, depending on... Uh, what Cunning Breeze Dancer feels like doing. So I'm actually just going to... Because the bookcase means I don't even have a good attack with the Rot Feaster Maggot anymore, so I'm actually just passing the turn back. Go ahead. In fact, a 1-2 Flyer can just eat Sky, uh, Sky Scanner or trade for Dongler Invoker, but I don't think I'm going to be presented with that option. You are correct. <laughs> Instead, I will cast Lay Claim, targeting my own Mole Drifter. This is a seven is... mana enchantment from Amon Ket yeah. that says enchant permanent, you control enchant permanent, or cycling two. Well, I guess I should just do this, do this now just to give you slightly fewer options. I'm going to cast Under Cities Embrace to get you to sacrifice. A creature. And creature? And creature. And I, I pay will, extort. Okay. I will lose one life and you'll gain a life. And I will sacrifice Recruiter of the I Guard. I think it was always going to be Recruiter of the Guard. <laughs> recruiter you, of the Guard is certainly the least value. Can you sacrifice that to the thingamajig? Sor sorcery only. Oh. The Sadistic Hypnotist is sorcery speed. Funnily enough, the anime dead stays there and the Mall Drifter is still just a... Yeah. Is a just. I think a I could, instead if I wanted to, I could control anime dead. Possibly that means I get... What, did, what does that do? Actually, no. Probably nothing. I forget. This is one of those really interesting, weird corner judge cases, but uh, let's just control the mall drifter. Fair enough. Okay. Breeze Dancer is a six. <laughs> it will attack. So will Dawn Glare Invoker. Yeah. And probably also Warden of Evo style, so that would be for ten. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's yeah, go with that. Take ten. And then I'll play an island. Go. Uh-oh, that means you have the mana to do that thing. It's true. The Mold Drifter would still die if the animate if the animate goes away, though, at this point. Yes. Right? If the animate goes away, the Mold Drifter dies. If the Lay Claim goes, goes away, the Mold Drifter goes back to Graham. So you're just going to... I mean, maybe not. Maybe I'll cast a spell if I draw one. <laughs> True. Um, Blit. Blit is right. Blit has been called. Yeah. Yeah, uh, pass it back. Does anyone else's dog, like, kind of vomit a little bit at bedtime? And But it's not like, they don't, like, make a big mess. They just kind of, like... Vomit a bit and then, like, kind of lap it back up. Oh! Sorry, I didn't mean to ruin everyone's evening. No, okay. But you were like, bleh. And then I was like, I was remembering this thing that was right. happening because I was falling asleep last night. Uh, you're at 11? Yeah. I, don't, I didn't draw a spell. Um, I'm going to play this land. Fair enough. <laughs> Two, Baxter, four, eight. I'd say every. Nine, ten? Yeah. 
six weeks or so produces a comical hairball. Yeah. I'm attacking you for eight. Right. And you're not activating Donglair, because of course you don't, because you don't need to, because those all fly. Yeah. Cool. All right, well, before damage, okay. I will cast Beacon of Immortality again. Great. <gasps> uh, ping Extort. Okay. So the Extort happens first. Yes. Well, then I double my life total to 24. All right. And then this goes back in the library again. He's back on that beacon again. And then you take eight. And then I take eight. Okay. 16. Oh. Beacon of Immortality uh, only is going to last so long. I mean, long. currently, I'm losing if you just draw Beacon of Immortality every single turn. <laughs> <laughs> like I can true. only take five more hits of Beacon of Immortality. That's that's true. I thought about firing this lay claim off like three turns earlier on the Tithe Drinker. Mm. Uh, uh, pass. Okay. okay. All right. Well, I mean, there's nothing else I can actually do, so I will. That's seven. Yes. I'll play Seraph of the Suns. Mm, it's not a, Beacon of Immortality. No, okay. and I pay one for the extort. Boop, um, boop. It's a 4-4 four, four indestructible. 4-4 four, four indestructible. I don't remember this one from Amon Cat. Was it in like a dual deck, do you think? Or, no, or it didn't show up very often in draft because it, it was an uncommon. And like, right. it, I think it was one of those ones that looks really cool because it's a 4-4 four, four flying indestructible. And definitely I've lost like one or two games to it. But overall it just didn't. It's seven mana, and the format yeah. was too fast, so yeah. people just didn't play it. Sure. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't think. I don't think you have seventeen on board. Three, four, five plus eight is um, close. Thirteen. <laughs> So non If I draw like a cantrip and then another spell, yeah, that I can get there. A problem, but yeah. Yep. So go ahead and tap your turn. stuff. All my creatures are tapped. Mm -mm. I did not draw a cantrip. Okay. I will attack for three, um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, yeah. Twelve, thirteen. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I cannot do anything about that. I take 13. Oops. That means we're all tied up at four. Four apiece. Sweet. All right. But unfortunately, I can't attack Nelson because he's still got his invoker, so. Uh, move to combat. Tap your stuff. Game three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's yours. All right, we're going to game oh boy. three. What does that mean for you, the viewer? It means that after this game is over, we're going to be giving away a box of Ra Ravnica Remasters collectored, Collector's Boosties, which are very spicy and fun. Thank you to Card Kingdom, our sponsor of the stream and the sponsor of this giveaway. I do want to say that is only available to people in the U.S. because it is a shipping thing. They are physically not allowed to ship sealed product out of the contiguous Americas or however it's de defined. Yeah, it is shipping. It's uh, Card Kingdom is providing it. They are they are shipping it, and being an official wizard retailer, they cannot ship sealed product outside of their country. So that's just how that works. But hey, maybe your country's uh, sealed providing stores will hear about the great sale at Card Kingdom and want to match it or do a similar thing. Who knows? And uh, any um, you know singles or uh, other products can be shipped internationally from That's Card true. Kingdom. That's true. And actually, older sets. I don't know what the rules are now. It's like outside of outside of a certain passage of time, sealed yeah. product they can ship outside. Right. Of the it's US, not standard. It's not. It's like if it's two or three years old, something like that. Like, yeah. If extended was still a thing. Well. The thing is that there's so many sets that come out every year and only half of them are standard legal So it's like just it used to be that if you said within standard that also meant all the cards printed in the last two years Right, but, but now, that is no longer the case oh, So right. you could order a case of like Lord of the Rings from them or something I maybe that's maybe not that's only from window? last summer, but maybe you could get Baldur's Gate's um, mm. draft packs from Card Kingdom anywhere you live something yeah. like that um, Hey, if you know the answer to this in chat, like you like ordering from Card Kingdom and you live in Canada or the UK or Australia or something. They will. They will ship singles anywhere in the tell world. Us, tell us how, uh, 
how old something has to be. Mm -hmm. LTR was at least five years ago. Yeah. I like Real Gamer Cow says, Lord of the Rings was last summer and 20 sets ago. Yes. That's, it feels that way. That's not that far off. Are you on the play? Yes, please. Good luck to you, Graham. You too. Good luck, Graham. Good luck, Nelson. Thank you. I will keep. I'll keep Jack. So right. neutral. Planes. Frontier Explorer. <gasps> it's a Savannah Lions that goes looking for planes. I would like to not keep. <laughs> Oh, no. I go. Actually, I just want you to mulligan. I thought about. I should have just hate drafted that thing. I thought about taking that out from my own deck. Uh, attacking for two. Yeah. Not tide meow, drinker. Meow. Not tide drinker. Not tide drinker. It's not, not tide drinker. drinker. I wish it was. It's blight soil druid. All right. It's the opposite of tide drinker. Still kind of. Pretty bad. Okay. Go ahead. Plans. Go ahead. Is that the only cat scout? I don't know. Oh, probably not. Mm. I don't think so. I feel like there's other uh, cat scouts. I will attack. Taking two. Meow meow. And should I have attacked with Blight Soil Druid? Is that weird? Uh, I'm gonna... I mean, are you gonna use the mana? If you're not gonna use the uh, mana, you probably should have attacked. Yeah. Probably. Too late. I will play Wall of Omens. Oh, maybe you're gonna use the mana. And I will draw a card. And I will yeah, there play are... this planes. There are will two the other cat scouts. Gonna cycle Lake Lamb. Oh yeah. Recruiter of the Guard. Hey. Should we go for a trifecta? Wait, I could get this one, couldn't I? No, toughness. Darn it. Got a bunch of creatures with higher toughness than power. And it's annoying. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> I could get this one. No, I don't need that one. Oh, I could get that one. Hmm. Do I want a Danto Vanguard or Sky Scanner? Sky Scanner. All one. right, all right, all right. It draws you a card. The people have spoken. Go ahead. To be fair, Sky Scanner is great. I used to take that card so highly, like I think irresponsibly highly in um, M M M19 draft. M19, something like that. One of those. One this of them from M19. One of them M's. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure Adam was with you every step of the way, picking mm -hmm. Sky Scanner way too high. Yep. All right, well, we're just going to develop the board. Sure. Frontier Explorer. Until end of turn, you may play one basic planes from outside the game. Go for it. Uh, ooh, yeah, one of these weird ones. Great. That still counts as your land for the turn. Oh, I know. Okay. That would be really... I had to double check it. it. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I think I opened this one, or maybe Cameron did. Hmm. Maybe Cameron opened this one, but I saw it early, and I was like, wait. Can uh, I get more lands? And making up for my previous error, I will attack you with Blight Soul Druid. No blocks. Go ahead. Boop. Tap. He takes one. I took the one. Um, Sky Scanner. Yeah. <laughs> what island is that? That is um, from Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Plains. They look really cool. That Plains is from Lost Caverns Go of ahead. Ixalan. Go right. ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. Draw. Planes. This. <laughs> I haven't done the math on this because I don't have a lot of pressure on you, so this may be a mistake. But we'll find out together. You gonna beacon of immortality? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Blight soil druid. So I, I pay a life. Boop. I'm going to play a good thing. Oh, I oh. don't know what this does. So, spells and abilities I control cannot destroy, exile, target, or cause me to sacrifice it. I am stuck with this. Okay, you have that. You At the beginning of my it. upkeep, double my life total. Then if I have a thousand or more life, I lose the game. Okay. So, there's, a, there's some number of turns in which I will lose. Okay. <laughs> you can destroy it. But I can't. Gotcha. I can't like buffer my life total right. and then sacrifice it. But if I'm sub if I'm to destroy it, I should do so immediately. Probably. Yeah. Go okay. ahead. Uh, Kathleen, I can um, type in the numbers over here uh, so that you. Yeah, don't that have would be great because I'm gonna quickly <laughs> well, quickly get a little bit stressed out. Well, chat. What do you think? Am I supposed to destroy it? Let's pretend that I can. I have no idea. It seems bad. I assume because it's like. 
there's nine drawings here, and it's like smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face, medium face, a little worried face, sad face, and then two dead faces. So I assume that you just typically well, aren't going to last more than seven turns. I mean, all you need is something that takes life to activate, and you'd be set. Really. Yeah, well, he's got the blade soldier already. He can go down by one per turn. He's only even gaining <laughs> like 19 next turn. Um, yeah, I think instead of killing it, I'm going to not kill it because it's better TV. Let's cast <laughs> Sunrise Seeker. Oh, yeah. And just try to gum up the board instead. We're exploring. It's Command the Chaff on top. Oh, do I have to? I do reveal. Okay, good. Yeah. This is uh, an instant that costs six mana. It says, look at target opponent's sideboard. I may cast a card from that sideboard without paying its mana cost. Ooh. Exile this. <laughs> I will leave that on top, and this will be a 4-4. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Pass. All right. Upkeep trigger. Yes. I gain 19 You life. go to 38. 38. Unless you want to lose one in response. No, I'm okay. Okay. For this turn, at least. Great. Okay. All Thanks, right. Paul. Draw. Someone attacking the industry with a backhoe. It's possible. Could be a literal backhoe. Uh, I'm going to activate Frontier Explorer. Okay. To play another planes from outside the game. And then pay three for Thraben Foulbloods. You got it. They're dogs. Woof, woof. Woof, bork, etc. And that's my turn. Yeah. You know um, when I should go get my sideboard because I left it in the other room. Oh, uh, sure. You don't need to yet. Okay. I want to cast Warden of Evos Isle and mm -hmm. say go. All right. Upkeep trigger. 76. Trombones in the big parade. All right. 110 corn. That's close behind. Nice. So I go to 76. Holy moly. 76? Yep. Yep. All right, draw. Uh, apologies. Uh, we're having some uh, serious frame drops. Network oh. style. Oh, is, is, is the internet being attacked by a backhoe? I Darn. think Twitch is was having some issues because people were saying that we're, it was sort of... We're having a problem during chill point as well. Oh, huh. shoot. I didn't hear about anything during Okie Okie, but... Weird. I don't think it... I was getting punched a lot of the time, so I couldn't hear much. Uh, I'm going to pay seven. Okay. Um, Did you lose the one life? Yeah, so I'm... I'm uh, yeah. 75? Okay. Yeah. Which is not enough trombones, but here we are. Right. Uh, for Seraph of the Suns. Okay. And... It's a 4-4. Four, four. All right, go ahead. But my lay claim's in the garbage. Uh, I don't love that. Okay, let's go. All oh, right, you could just steal. <laughs> you could steal this. If I, yeah, yeah. If I can get this back somehow, yeah. I can do that, can't I? Right, that's pretty good. Let's cast Muldrifter for four mana. Yeah. The weirdest mana cost to pay for Muldrifter, uh, and draw two cards. Mm -hmm. Sure. Let's. Keep this thing from attacking and blocking. Oh, Go yeah, ahead. All right. Untap. Upkeep trigger. One fifty. Go to one hundred and fifty. <laughs> I draw for the turn. Swamp. Uh, what do I do? Aww. <laughs> My best. I mean, I will, you, you I keep gaining a lot of life every yeah. every upkeep. You could, you know, what you could do? What? You could double your life total <laughs> by casting Beacon of Immortality. <laughs> that would be really funny. Um, I will activate Frontier Explorer. Can you can you make sure that it absolutely does not match the existing planes that I have? Just because yeah. I think it's funny. Okay. Absolutely. Good. I'm tilted out already. Yay. Have a new Capenna planes. Thank you. Oh, I should tap to activate that ability, so I will do that. 
Oh, wait. I tapped that one, so. So I lose a life. Boop. Yeah. That's important. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to make a difference to how... I don't know if it changes the clock exactly. Um, all right, this is probably... It might. It might. This is probably correct. Uh, sadistic hypnotist. Sure. Uh, I would like to sacrifice my angel. Okay. To make you discard two cards. All right. I will discard... Island and plants. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead. Okay. On tap. Draw. Hmm. cards in hand. Um, oh wait, that only costs that much. Okay, sure. I'll cast Dawn Glare Invoker for only two mana. Mm -hmm. And then I want to purge your Sadistic Hypnotist, sacrificing my Recruiter of the Guard. <coughs> So this exiles it. Yep. Um, and I'll say go. Upkeep trigger. Uh, 298? Yep. Okay. You're off. And da da da. Uh, I'll have another planes, please. What is what is what are you doing here? Well, this kitty goes and finds new lands. Oh, dang! Nice. <laughs> She's found a very strange land. I forgot we had those. Oh yeah, those um, exist. Actually, I'm gonna again. I will pay with blights. Sure, blights will do it just to potentially fend that off. Um, and then I. Yeah, pass the turn. Okay. How much? So you now have you have ten land. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a channel would be great right now. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a crystal shard. So that's the one that just lets you bounce stuff. Yeah. All right. I'll Let's scooch that onto the. Camera. Sorry. Sorry oh, about that. Fine. Yeah, there we go. I'll bounce my sky scanner immediately. Sick. And then I'll cast Sky Scanner for two mana, draw mm -hmm. a card, and play a planes. Say go. Uh, the end of your turn, just because I want the clue, I will expose evil and tap the uh, the Sunrise Seeker because it's the big one, and uh, the Bull Drifter because it's done its job. Sure, you got it. Cool. And then I will crack crush that clue immediately. One tap. Upkeep trigger. So this is 594. Oh boy, we're getting close. Boy, I really wish so I was you gonna lose 94 life. You got one more turn. Unless you lose. Oh wait, it's this turn. This I turn. Have. This is your turn. Oh, man. All right. I don't think I have enough. I won't block. <laughs> Let's test that theory, I guess. I'm going to go to combat. Great. I'll attack with Thraben Foulbloods and my Frontier Explorer. I'll take five. Or no blocks. That is, yeah, that's five. Okay. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not wait. I, yeah, I played a land this turn. Yeah. I can exanguinate for nine. Whoa. No. It's just one off. One. X is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to cast Do Over anyway. No. Just because, uh, you know, Fair. I'd rather block if you're going to exaggerate. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there'll be some way that you figure out how to kill me on my turn. Um, so we're going to restart the turn. This is one and a blue for an instant with restart the turn, except with card name and exile. 
First, return all cards to where they were as the turn began for information like hidden zones, like the hand. Reconstruct as best you can and do the rest at random. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So you have to so this, these untap your attackers. Untap. Yeah. This goes back in my hand. Put this my goes back, back in my 15. hand. Yeah, whatever your card was that you drew for the turn, I think it's supposed to go back on top, and then your okay. your life total is supposed that to go one. back to halfway up, but then unless you're going to change it, that's going to stay the same. And then this gets this exiles itself. I think you're supposed to get a, the same card off the top of your deck. I was going to say. Because like, it says it's best you can. Like, unless this is like... I'm not sure if it's meant to be able to give you a different draw for the card you drew, or a card at random in your hand is supposed to become a different card... But the way I'm reading this is like everything's going to be the same. It's just you can make different combat choices or different targeting choices. That so, sort of but thing. what if? Yeah, yeah. But, but there's a few if, ways you could read this. Yeah, but what if in my upkeep, uh -huh. I cast Beacon of Immortality to shuffle my library to, Ooh. to not draw this planes I drew this turn? Yeah, do it. Doesn't that just kill you? Or no, because it's if, oh, if I wait being... till this is resolved and then you shuffle your and library, then shuffle my library. Sure, go for it. <laughs> All right. I don't know what you're hoping to draw instead of that plane. So that plane represents the damage. But yeah, maybe a soul ring. So now I go to whatever double 594 is, but this is after the trigger from a good thing, so I don't lose the game here. All right. Okay. Okay, so, so 594 is... 11 something? Oh, yeah, and I have to... Uh, 1188. 88. Yes, is that right? No, or is it ninety-two or is it? Oh yeah, eighty-eight. Yeah. Actually, take Six, that. Yeah. I take that down by two because okay. I will have paid with blight sale. Sure. Eleven eighty-six. It could be an address or a life total. No one can tell. <laughs> Great. All right. Do you want to not tap so much black mana because you have four untapped planes? Uh, it's, yeah, I mean, because it's tapped. This is your upshirt. Sure. There we right? go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. Great. Okay. There you go. Different okay. draw. All right. There's one. There's one draw. Okay. Nice. It was not rot feaster maggot. All right. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have for four mana that can mess me up? Oh, is it something that destroys all enchantments? No, that doesn't work. It is. That... is. Way back in the deck. Oh, man, I never drew Mirror Entity either. Ether Flux Reservoir. Oh, right. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> forgot about that, you right? Just don't Pretty good with a good thing. Life. Yeah, exactly. That all was right. the hope. This was the. This so was I probably the shouldn't ideal. have do done the do over since I was going to one instead of zero. <laughs> I also was just holding the command in the chat that yeah, we all knew about. Do you know what I was getting out of your sideboard? Uh, no, but I can find out. I kind of just One wanted second. to hold it in case like something happened, and I, you know, I can potentially have a counter spell. I'm in the that other was room so exciting right and fun and silly. Yeah, it was a fun, silly mystery booster. Oh game. yeah, no, this yeah, was great. I liked uh, it. Let me see from my sideboard, Archangel. Uh, I had black, black market. market that I never <laughs> ran because it's just I'm like, what am I going to do with all this Ooh, mana? Four four life link. Uh, righteous cut, roar of the worm. Sure, some creatures. Serendipa free. A trumpet blast. Harrow. Thran golem. Queen Marchesa maybe become the monarch. Sure, start drawing cards. That seems pretty good. Honestly. Probably probably sure. like archangel or queen Marchesa, just because it's big. Yeah. Archangel is just a five five flying vigilance. Yeah, yeah. I'm probably taking Queen Marchesa. That's fair. Holy moly, what a game. That was that a sweet was, game. That, that was, was super so fun. fun. I definitely forgot that you had Aetherflux Reservoir after you told us from the beginning of the, <laughs> of the game. So yeah, Nelly uh, flirting with death there, <laughs> nearly uh, nearly snatching defeat from the, the clutches of victory. Oh, I, had to, I, had to, I had to try. It's like, it turns out that that, that enchantment, what is it, the, a good thing. A good thing, yeah. Very dangerous when you have no pressure. <laughs> so, uh, skipped over how Graham won. Oh, Graham didn't win. <laughs> Graham lost. I lost, yeah. I didn't draw Aetherflux Reservoir, and uh, no matter what Nelly did, I was going to die in my next upkeep. So. Yeah. Too much of a good thing, they say. Yep. Too mm. much of a good thing kills me. But do you know what's not too much of a good thing? <sighs> Free uh, cards from Card Kingdom. Hey, I love that. Yeah. Here it is. Nice. Again, not literally this one. They're going to ship it to you, which yeah. means that they can only ship it to you if you live in the United States. But Graham, who in, are they going to ship it to? In the Americas. One of you. Somebody um, in chat. Yeah, let's let's give it away. How do we do that? Uh, should we put a word in chat? Yes. Um, what about? So we're gonna yeah we're gonna put. I a, was gonna say something out loud as a joke, and then I was like I shouldn't do that because people are gonna. Don't, I know. I, I didn't. Never. Don't. I didn't. Don't do it. I didn't. Uh, he didn't. We're gonna be yeah. So we'll 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 have people type um, the word that we uh, say in just a few minutes. Just in just a second here. Um, remember this. Please don't. Uh, enter if you are not in the United States. Probably you're supposed to pull like 10 names and put them in an order in case we get trolled. <laughs> right? <laughs> it is USA only. 
Uh, we want to give the box away, so yeah. please don't type the word if you're not yeah. able so to receive it. So it's USA only because, again, this is from this is courtesy of Card Kingdom. They're the ones shipping it. They're only allowed to ship sealed product within the U.S. That is that's Wizards' policy for their retailers. So that, I mean, I think primarily it's so that. Uh, retailers from the U.S. can't dominate other countries. I yeah. mean, Hawk Creek says it's USA only, but can I send it to a U.S. friend? Yeah. Sure. If you have something that you want to work out with somebody that you trust that lives in the U.S., we're not here to police you. I think we all have better things Card to do. Card Kingdom will send it to the U.S. address you nominate. Exactly. <laughs> so, That's fine. Um, all right. Given that, it is a box of Ravnica remastered. Your word is Ravnica. R A V. N-I-C-A. Well, sorry, I wanted to make sure I was going to oh, spell right, because yeah, I'm yeah. such a bad speller, but then you literally put your hand in front of the word Ravnica oh. on the back of the box, and I was like... Sorry. <laughs> no cheating. So, R-A-V-N-I-C-A, like you see in chat, only, you only need to do it once. Putting it in twice is not going to make your odds better. It will just make chat less usable. Capitalization does not matter, though I appreciate that most of you are correctly capitalizing a proper noun. It is a mm. proper noun. Uh, it's the name of a plane. We saw most of what my deck was about. I was jamming one other um, playtest card. It's Priority Avenger. And this <laughs> card actually is kind of a non-bow in my deck. It's three and a white for a three, four flying. Players can't cast instant spells unless a spell or ability is on the stack. So, like, I could still maybe cast my cloud shifts if you're trying to kill okay. my creatures, but I couldn't just cast my cloud shifts for value. But it was a format three four flyer. So that seems thought, pretty good. We saw yeah. most of my deck. I have a second wall of omens, which is exciting. Oh and wow! I nice. have a split card of bind and liberate. Uh, the one one half is green, but the half that I can cast in this deck is one and a white instant to blink a creature, and it comes back at the end step. Or it's not yes. blink; it's the other one. Right? Yeah. Whatever. Flicker. Flicker. One yeah, of those. I, yeah. Uh, I opened that one and thought about it. There was a bunch of flicker effects. I think there's a lot of flicker effects in Mystery Booster. Yeah. There, there is, and a lot of land destruction. <laughs> There's a bunch of land destruction. Like, there could have been a deck that was just trying to flicker the um, Avalanche Riders. Yeah. I don't have, like, I don't have, I was going to say I don't have a lot of ETB after I just said that I have two walls of omens. But it's like that, Balustrade, Spy, Rot Feaster, Maggot. The, the and Maggot, then yeah. Anything that I have Animate Dead on. Yep. Flicker the Animate Dead well, and get the thing back. Oh, I see. Flicker, get a different thing back. Or the same thing, even, right? Like, Can't say you flicker the creature that's enchanted with Animate Dead? And no, it's going to lose Animate Dead. And it'll be told... Oh, wait, no, maybe that's fine. No, it is fine, isn't it? Because it'll exile, and yeah. it'll say sacrifice this, but that, that's the yeah. old object. Right, you're right. Yeah. But, okay, but, cool. but if you want to do my creature and you flicker it, then I get it back. Yes, which would be best. So, um, <laughs> the only other card that I, that I picked that we didn't see was Lash Knife Barrier. And my first time having the opportunity to try to put this into a deck, it's it two and fun. a white... Yeah, two and a white for an enchantment. When it ETBs draw cards, so I was like, okay, that's a pretty low cost of inclusion. If a source would deal damage to a creature you control, it deals that much damage minus one. So that seems like probably kind of ruins combat. It's from Plane Shift, and I've never drafted that format. All right. Yeah. All righty. All right, we're going to draw a winner now. I'm very impressed, Kathleen. Well done. Of a collector, nice collector booster box of Ravnica Remastered. Paul, who's winning it? It's not this one, so we can put it on our heads. Yes. It's... The winner is... Uh, Drek Zero. Hey, Drek Zero. Zero. Congratulations. Congrats. We're going to send you D a whisper. R R E K Zero. Yeah. We're getting up in your Twitch whispers, so get ready for that. And we will connect you with the kind folks at Card Kingdom, and they will ship that over to you. If you did not win this and you want to get yourself a screaming deal on some Ravnica Remastered, head over to cardkingdom.com slash LRR. Right now, they're having a flash sale all this weekend till Monday on Ravnica Remastered. Normal normal draft boosters are four bucks each. Yeah. And you can get a booster box for, it's, it's, I wrote it down, I think it was a 130 like something. It's like 139 or something. Yeah. So do do some, um, do, do some, some, some draft. Commerce. It's a fun draft set. And, and I will say, as somebody who's drafted Ravnica Remastered, fun draft set. Super yeah. fun. Like, just good kind Great of. Set. Lower powered, old fashioned, fun to draft environment. Nicely done, Watson. Good balance of the various yeah. Ravnica abilities. At four yeah. bucks a pack, you can't really feel yeah. too bad about drafting it. About yeah. opening a old border hallowed fountain. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, we're gonna take a break. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay, we're gonna take a break. 
But no, uh, yeah. and when we come right back with round two, I don't know who's playing in round two, but you're about to find out in a few minutes. Don't James, go away. James, who's playing in round two? Me, Matt, and Cam. Woo! Hooray. Hello and welcome back to Friday Night Paper Fight here on the Loading Ready Run Entertainment Juggernaut. We're into round two of our Mystery Boosties draft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we drafted this card. Sorry, tonight I have a brain like a smashed snow globe full of gasoline. I don't know why. Tonight? I mean, the, the thing is, once you hit that threshold, you lose your ability to remember <laughs> what anything else is like. So yeah. maybe it's been like this for years. Yep. To my left is James spitting fire tonight. Yeah. How'd the draft treat you, James? Pretty good, actually. Cool. Yeah, I like my deck. And to my right is Matt. Hello. How C Cameron helped me make one decision in building my deck. All right. I Was it the entire deck? <laughs> I mean, I feel that in a draft, we have all contributed to making each other's de deck. Yeah, for better or worse. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah. Has everyone drawn their seven? Yeah. All right. Who's playing first? Matt. What? Yeah. Oh. Okay. You right. called low roll. I didn't call it. You 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 win. <laughs> called low roll. Fight to the death. After you roll it. <laughs> I'm surprised you let that abide. Yeah. Matt, Matt already picking up some of the nuances of yeah. Uh, yeah. competitive magic playing. Yeah. All right. A plains. Go. A forest. Go. Ooh. I have to remember to draw a card each turn. An island. And look, it is an ether cased knight. I don't know if you have, no, the you're card, not doing card reading. Card reading doesn't work. Uh, artifact creature. Oh, I did not know this was an artifact, actually. Uh, exalted. Whenever a creature you control attacks alone, mm -hmm. plus one, plus one until end of turn for it. Nice. One, three. Nice. Nice. I was going to say nice and neat, and it came out as nice. Love that French city. Yeah, yeah, French, yeah. Right. yeah. I, I like how the, it was completely unambiguous that it was not niece as in like <laughs> yeah. a nephew or a midwife. <laughs> right, I was like, niece, I know exactly what James did there. Yeah, yeah. all right. Uh, swamp and uh, river boa, which has island walk, which is pretty good against Great. the deck. Uh, it's a 2-1, and I can regenerate for one green mana. Go ahead. Oh, that's a real old school card, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. If it has walk in it, it's probably an old school card. Well, the race is on. Two power per turn on each side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What if I add more power how, onto the battlefield? How does one island walk if one does not walk? Yeah. <laughs> Cloud elemental. Flying. It can only block creatures with flying, and it is a 2-3. Yeah. Um, and I'm attacking with this. Yeah, I did too. I did damage. Damn right. Mm. All right. Untap, draw. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack you for two. I take two. I'm going to go ahead and play the swamp. And then I'm going to go ahead and. Are you going to play frog? I want to see the frog. Uh, I'll play a frog. Mm -hmm. I have more than one. Oh. oh. I have the frog kin kidnapper. It's a 2-1, and when it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals their hand. I choose a non-land card from it, and then I ransom that card, which means I exile it, but you may pay three at any time to return it to your hand. It's actually kind of, I, this is like just a genuinely neat uh, mechanic. Yeah, I, th I, was, like just I was just thinking we might see this in uh, Thunder Bluff, or not Thunder Bluff. Thunder Junction? All right. New Mesa. Yeah. We've got an excoriate, an adorned pouncer, Kitty. a Jeskai sage, and a skitter eel. Ah, oh, skit, skit. Uh, exile, temp, target, yeah. Um, Are you going to finish that line? Nope. <laughs> I did. Yeah. What card? I don't even know what I get rid of here. You like cats, right? Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of the rare. So this is gonna put right here. I can pay three at some point yep. to get that. There you go. I need to remember that that is a thing to do. Yep. Mm. And that's my turn. Go ahead. Did you attack that turn? He did. Oh yeah. Okay. Untapping. You got twoed. Oh no. Uh, good. A fourth land. 
Well, you know it's there, so I'll play it. A skitter eel. Mm -hmm. Fish crab. Adapt to if I want to at some point, but right now it's a 3 3. Yep. <sighs> I'll get you in the air with three. Yeah, I take three. It's very simple magic. Very mm. simple magic. Yeah. You know, as a novice magic player, I thought I'd do a simple color combination of white blue. Hey, I mean, you keep up the pressure, don't overcommit to the board, maintain uh, card advantage, and uh, you'll get there. Yeah. And don't lose to the frog. If the frog dies, do I get the thing back? Nope. Is it just exiled, I think. Oh, okay. Mm. Interesting. So you have to pull it out before yeah. it dies? Um, yes. Other I assume so. Otherwise, nobody is around to tell you where the kidnapped creature is. <laughs> Where's my cat? I want my cat Wait, back. yeah, so what happened? Target the opponent reveals their hand. Choose a non-land card from it. Ransom that card. Exile it. Not with this card. Yeah, it's not yeah, with I this card. Yeah. I'm just doing this to sort of demonstrate where it is so yeah. you yeah. have a better idea. But right now, just pretend it's like here. Yeah. And it's always here regardless of this thing. Yeah. So. All can, right. Yeah, can you pay if the frog is gone? Yes, you can. Yeah, 100%. Because it, it does say exile with this. It says exile it, okay. right? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, let, let's work it like that. Yeah. Instead of just being like, I exile... Like, cast Frog can kidnap her, exile your best card. With the, on the stack, I sacrifice yeah. Frog kin. All right, I attack for uh, two. Okay. Uh, oh, I only You can't block. Yeah. Um, and then. So that's a clock on me then. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but you are you have a bigger clock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I could even make a bigger one. I played yeah. a land? Yes, because you went for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Yeah, this is a better use of my mana. His name is Skeleton Archer. He's a skeleton archer. First name, last name, and occupation for the record, please. Yeah. <laughs> so when it enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to any target. You. Oh, no. And uh, it's a 3-3. Three, three. reach? Nope. No? Has nope. no reach. I wish it did. It should. Huh. It's an archer. Go ahead. Okay, untapping. Comes from the times before archers had reach. I was going to say... This archer is a gamer and doesn't look up, but this picture is literally the skeleton <laughs> archer scanning looking the sky. in the sky. <laughs> looking to the sky. He's he's super ripped and he can't lift his hands, up, <laughs> his, arms above his, his head. His head is actually just always at a forty-five degree yeah, yeah, angle. Yeah. Up. yeah, that's just how he was assembled, man. Just sky sage prowess, and when it dies, draw a card. It's a one-one. Oh. You only have the one blocker right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, what if I adapted this thing for two? Uh, no, wait, three. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. What if I didn't do that? <laughs> uh, and instead, I just get three damage in the air. Yeah. Cool. Another frog? No, unfortunately not. All right, I'm gonna play this uh, amphibian, at least? Noxious Bayou. Uh -oh. uh, so this is the dual land that taps for green and black, but when I do, I get a poison counter. Ooh, cool. Are you gonna give yourself a poison counter? No. Okay. I am going to Cycle this greater sandworm to draw a card. Big worm. Big worm. Draw a card. Combat. Two. I keep looking and I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go ahead and give myself a poison. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. uh, tap for green and play this uh, turn timber basilisk. Uh, it has Death Touch, it's a 2-1, it has a Landfall trigger, it says whenever a land enters a battlefield under your control, you may have target creature block this uh, 
if able. Mm. So goad. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Goad is force attack. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Yes. What is there a term for force block? Uh, taunt. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Lure. 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 Thank the golden you. apple. I don't know if it's actually keyworded. No, I don't think it is. But okay. Taunt, lure, provoke. Yeah. Do any yeah, because lure is everybody blocks it, but yeah. Oh, okay, I think I'm going to attack that. And why not? And... You don't get the exalted if you attack with more than one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's still two guaranteed damage at this point. Ah, so... Actually, no. I was going to be like, what is that scam? <laughs> yeah. No, no blocks. <laughs> The least a creature <laughs> has ever been blocked. <laughs> yeah. I th think I will. Uh, I will morph something, and I believe that's just for three, right? Yes. Yep. Correct. You can morph. Morph. I don't know what. I'm, okay. It's a mystery. Yeah. Do you mind if I look? Uh, sure. So I take three here, right? Yes. You want to hit me for three there, Cam? Okay. We're actually keeping a pretty close race here. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, yeah. All right. Anything you both else? have things that okay. your opponent can't really interact with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. His is just bigger. We're just hitting each other in the face. Will I declare blocks? Let's see if more than that snake goes for me. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play this forest. Triggers landfall. Make that one block it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and attack making your knight block here. Okay. And I'm going to also attack with my 2-1. So that and that. And then that just dies, so, and I take 2. Yeah, so these trade, you take 2. Yes. Don't worry, this is my poison that, counter. That is your current poisson. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I am going to go ahead and tap five take another poison uh-oh oh my god two yeah thank you more flex in box excel excel ease for uh uh delve I'm going to play my Gurmag Angler. The Grang... Gurangler. The Gurangler. It's 5-5. Five, five. That's it. It has Delve, which oh, yeah. is letting me cast it. Cool. Then I'm going to go ahead and play not that card. <laughs> that card. <laughs> it's uh, green. That's all I saw. Don't even worry about it. Carrion Feeder. Oh. oh. Uh, I was hoping to wheel that. Can't block. And a sacrifice a creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Okay. Yeah. Um, pass the turn. I feel like for as much pressure as this Cloud Elemental has been giving you, um, I don't really have that much. I mean, you're still ahead. And a body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Don't forget you can uh, get your uh, your cat. guy back at any point you want. Your little kitty. My kitty. I could do that and play it out, or um, if I adapt it, can it also attack? Yep. Yep. Okay. You just have to adapt it before you declare attacks or yeah. after. It's a sorcery speed effect, I believe. Sorcery speed. Could do that. Um, Actually, is it? Hmm? It doesn't say anything. No, you no. can adapt whenever you want. Yeah, no. Okay. Yeah, it's, yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, so you can attack with that, and depending on what I do, you can adapt it and turn it into a 5-5. Five five. Let's see what happens. It's simple magic. Yeah. Um... Plunge. I can't block. I know what my cards do. Should I? I'd be happy for it to, but. No, I don't like that block. Those are my blocks. Okay. So I'll adapt so those trade. Sure. And so then you tap your three take mana. Three. Yep. yep. Can't get the kitty back with only two mana. Uh, this thing dies, I believe. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Cam. Don't forget, this is your morph. Oh, right, my morph. I could have attacked with that, actually. <laughs> now that I think about it. No, don't worry about it. Um, did he take that? Yeah, you took I? two. Hmm? Three. Three. I take three, yeah. yeah. Okay. On to you. Yeah, sorry, Chad. I was thinking of Outlast. The video game? No. Six. Uh. Yikes. Attack, attack. Well, there. <laughs> so I can sacrifice a creature to put a plus one, plus one counter on, just so you know. So this is a 2-2 two -two right now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But then you'd be giving up either mm -hmm. regular damage. You haven't been attacking with that at all. No. If you're going to make this block, I'm going to sack here to give this plus two, plus two, or plus one, plus one, and then these trade. Yep. Mm. That would be him no. going down two cards. Huh? That would be him going down two cards. Yeah, but also I could do other things. But yeah, these are my decks. I take four um, or five if you want to no, add more counters. You can take to four. It. Okay. Four works for me. Okay. I'm going to play Stoic Builder. Uh, it's a 2 3. When it enters the battlefield, it can return a land from our graveyard to my hand. I don't have one. Hmm. So it's just a 2 3. Okay. Uh, go ahead. All righty. Okay. Uh, hmm. I do. The art on Frog Kidnapper is so good. Mm. It's just a little frog with a giant bag of person <laughs> inside. Yep. I, I it's feel just like so good. I feel like it's important that like it's in the, in the it's it's a smash cut. Like it's like. There's just like a frog standing in front of the creature, and the yeah. creature's like, what are you going to do? Yeah. Smash cut to frog standing on a sack. <laughs> <laughs> like, you never actually see what the frog did. Jeez, <laughs> uh, I'm at six. I have to block here. Why not? I'll do this. After all, why shouldn't I have a gleam of resistance? Creatures I control get plus one, plus two until end of turn, and I untap them. Nice. Uh, I think I just die there because yeah. I regenerate here but take three, four, five, six because of the prowess trigger. Yep. Yep. I won a game of magic. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, Matt. Yeah. Thank you. This was a Monastery Lore Master. Ah. With Megamorph. Megamorph. The controversially named Megamorph. Mm. Uh. And I mean, now, and since you're playing against James, now you can retire champion. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not yeah. after one game. You have to win the match. Yeah. But then you may retire champion. <laughs> I thought that was James' thing. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to steal his bit. Even after he stole my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Are there other frogs, or is that the frog? There is one other frog. OK. Or I guess the angler was kind of a frog. I, the angler I mean, is kind of a frog, but it, it's 
It's not a frog. It's kind of a. It's kind of a frog. <laughs> kind of a frog. They're entirely sweat. different. Like, well, I mean, they're both cordata. But the, the important thing about a frog is it's wet and it's shaped like a small, soft friend, but like slimy. Very well done, Plato. Hold <laughs> <laughs> <Behold> a man. <laughs> There are many things with windows. Houses have windows, but there are many things without windows that are also uh, not houses. Mm -hmm. The grammatical goes, behold a man. No, wait, no, that's just your lure on the end of your... <laughs> I will play first and keep. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Diogenes bursts into the room with that weird legged fish creature that was probably the missing link. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep. All right. Uh, I play forest. Go ahead. <gasps> A forest. Uh, island. Go. That's a plains. Or plains. Go. <laughs> Writes down island. <laughs> yeah. River bow again. No! <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Do I? You beat it once. Do I not play any, <laughs> any swamp or any uh, islands? I mean, that would be the five head play. Yeah. That would be incredible <sighs> if you could play just planes and still beat me. I would retire. I'm just, because I have nothing else that I'm going to do, I'm going to anticipate. Mm -hmm. Pop sure. three cards in my library, put one of them on the, in my hand and the rest in the bottom in any order. Three cards. That's the one, Svengeneer. Sure, I'll do that one. And then any order, so I'll just hmm. do okay. that. Alrighty. Do I take two damage this turn? Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna play a Stoic Builder again. Oh, kind of a deal. Yeah, uh, two, three. Get to land, but I got no lands. Go ahead. Okay. He's a very sturdy man. Mm -hmm. We mm. love that around here. Any planes? Uh, we don't have any of them, but we I, love them. <laughs> yeah, no. I feel yeah. like he would have. Conceptually, we would love a man <laughs> like that. Uh, I feel like he would have a very successful TikTok career. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Just like. There's, there's, yeah. I think he does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I watched this guy earlier today. Chopping I think wood. <laughs> I think my partner watched this TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Unwavering initiate. Vigilance embalms five, not six. It's a three two. Yeah. Can't attack yet with it though. Hmm. Combat. I attack you with both. Uh, I mean, let's smash the two men together. Love it when two men smash. All right, mm -hmm. uh, take two, and I'm going to cast Sapling Migration for two green saplings, if you could, Cameron. Saplings. Saplings, you know, saplings, or saplings, whatever. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <laughs> Where oh. are our saplings? There they are. Somewhere I in the box. Island. Thank you. Welcome to the salad bowl. <laughs> oh. Do the one that can block better. An Abzan mm, Falcon. Yeah, okay. Outlast for one white. Mm. Yeah. Each creature you control with a counter has flying. Yeah, that card is legit. Also a two three. It's really annoying. Great card. Great card. I feel like the job of a falconer is a lot different when the falcon is that big. Yeah. yeah. Attack you for two. All right, take two. And I play this vampire champion. It is a three three with death touch. Well, that's not loud. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Uh, Outlast is sorcery speed, right? It is. Yeah. Okay. And you have to tap it. Oh. I believe. 
other planes. I can't believe Vampire Champion is a soldier and not a champion. We were so close to greatness. <laughs> we could have had another one. But I want to just, like, not have things die when I put them out. Okay. Speaking of, just guys Sage, they give me something when they die uh, in Prowers. Get a plus one, plus one. So that is now a three, four flyer. Mm -hmm. What color dice would you like, Matt? Oh, black is fine. Are you sure? Okay, thank you. And that is summoning sickness, so it can't attack. Set that to one. Combat? Yes. Everything. Island block. Uh, block that. Mm -hmm. And then this dies. Take uh, four. Take four. Uh, one second. Not done yet. Oh. Well, when it dies, I draw a card. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry. Uh, play this uh, Woodborn Behemoth. Uh, it's a 4 4, and if I control eight or more lands, it gets plus four, plus four, and trample. Ooh, I've got five. Big so boys. A little ways off. Go we ahead. We just have a deck of big boys. Yeah. Functional reprint of Nature's Liege. <laughs> or Gaia's Liege. Gaia's Liege. <laughs> Tune in on Monday for Tap Tap Concede. Where you'll we, get that reference. Yeah. It's like a tree spider. By which I mean a spider made out of trees, <laughs> not a spider <laughs> that hangs out in trees. This is a spider that hangs out with trees. Six mana. Mm. What is this nonsense? Kiora's Dambreaker. What the hell? A Leviathan. When it enters the battlefield, proliferate. Jesus. Okay. Large head. Oh, yeah. Wow, that actually could be relevant for the poison counters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and that is now a fourth. Oh, that's a death touch. <laughs> hmm? That has death touch. That's not very good for me. Um, that's fine, remember? Yeah, like, but that wait. has death touch, so I can't block. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But four or five, it could block that. And there's all the other stuff. I think I'm going to hang back. Okay. When was War of the Spark? Oh, like four years ago? 2019? 2018, I think. Maybe. Wow. Because I definitely remember going to that pre release. That, so I will not. Okay. Not even with the river boa? Uh, oh, I'm, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Too late. I missed it. I'm going to Jesus, fall on this chair. Cycle the uh, greater sandworm. Draw a card. Do you have that in your deck to cycle? Uh, basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I drew a forest. I'm playing that forest. Poor sandworm. And I'm passing the turn. Okay. If I lose by two. Whoopsies. Whoopsie doodle. Oh, okay. Second place. Human brains, I think I've attacked with this every single turn that I've been able to attack in these two games. And for some reason, in that turn, I thought, no. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> I have exiled the vampire. Yep. What is that one? Excoriate. 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 Ta exiled target tapped creature. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can't do with that one anymore. Somebody at Watsi using their thesaurus. <laughs> But we need more ways to say, just kill, kill yeah. a thing. My favorite example of that is still somebody looking at the Google results for the uh, Hasbro Buildings neighborhood uh, around the time that Amonkhet would have been in development and looking up the Google results for Cartouche. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, shoulder to shoulder, support two. I put a plus one, plus one counter on each of these and draw a card. Thank you. Half so now those flying. both have flying. Uh, ooh, do they both? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I'm stabilizing. So at that's least somewhat. You've got 11 pa you, you just kill me in two turns. <laughs> if I attack with that one. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm down to seven, so I'm going to pull. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I have them. the eight power on the board. Yeah. Yep. Flip the flop. The old flying sea monster is always scary. The lassophobia wasn't enough. Now you can have it for the open sky as well. Mm -hmm. The sea of stars. Mm. Just imagine like this huge serpent with just like teeny weeny little wings on it. <laughs> yeah, just like kind a... of dangling below its wings. What was the caterpillar's name in uh, A Bug's Life? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. All right. I am going to cast Right of the Serpent, the story target creature. Yeah. Your falconer. Yeah. If it had a plus one, plus one counter on it, which it did, I get a 1-1 one, one green snake token ah. onto the battlefield. I love this Thank you. snake art. That's a good snake. Yeah, look at that guy. And then I swing out, you block here. He's doing such four, a big hiss. You go to three. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's the play. I attack you with everything. Well, I'm going to block the big one. Yep. So that happens. You take four. I am going to... Play the swamp and pass the turn. Okay, I hate all of this for me, bestie. <laughs> uh -huh. um, well, they are creatures. Ooh, down to three. Mm -hmm. So I would have to somehow get rid of that river boa very quickly. Come on it. Morph. Mm -hmm. Three mana. And everyone loves a puss. A little adorned pouncer. Mm -hmm. It's got a little nice circlet on. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's correct, chat. Elish Norn would be a big play right about now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can get that card from me, right? Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, yeah. That should be one of her buttons. Man, Elish Norton would hit hard right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I know what card I want. Love you, Chad. Is this it? No, it's not. So it's not a frog. A frog would have been cool too, but I wanted my skeleton archer. Mm. Combat. Oh no, I take two. Can't do anything about it. Spider spawning. Boof. That Welcome is uh, one, two, three spiders, please. You may have two foily and one regular. Heck yeah. All right. I didn't know you were playing tokens. Go ahead, yeah. Assume I'm always playing tokens. Throw that. Um, oh, I need to start doing that. You just simply need something that does minus one, minus one to everything. God, I thought that you were just about to flip something that did. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Four Megamorph. What does it do? What's it uh, called? Monastery Lore Master. Yeah, I put a plus one, plus one counter on it for Megamorph, and when it was flipped up, mm -hmm. return non-creature, non-land card. You know what's really great? Um, Excoriating something? When you have four mana, yeah. Ba -ba -ba <laughs> <laughs> uh, I attack with a cat. Uh-huh. Um, I have no blocks. You get scratched by a cat yep, twice. I take two. You're so proud of yourself. <laughs> uh, that would be the game. Yes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> game three. Woo! All right. Well, 
dramatic swings and roundabouts here. If only I had one more mana. It's true. I guess we'll find out if James can rip the river boa three games in a row. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, rip me twice in a row here. Mm. So, if you do, if you surf the river boa to victory uh, in game three, James, will you get it tattooed? Uh, no. It's no? unethical to tattoo a snake. Mm. They can't really control it. It's true. Although they might not have the nerves to really experience it. Mm. It's also kind of a waste because they just do ecdesis and the tattoo's just gone. True. Right. Yeah. Although, interestingly, people in chat were saying that snakes can't walk, despite this snake having an island walk. And it was actually recently discovered, well, not recently, but roboticists trying to make robot snakes discovered that, in fact, snakes do walk. Mm -hmm. Like millipedes. Yeah. They, they make that S shape. And... Mm -hmm. Love that for them. Yep. Okie dokie. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Would you like to play? Sure. Okie dokie. I haven't even looked at my hand yet, but I'll say sure. Uh, hmm. I, I remember, I think it was, was it a CBC science show where they interviewed them? And the guy was just like, we watched extremely slow-mo videos of snakes moving and they walk. <laughs> I'll keep. He was so mad. Cameron. Mm -hmm. Could you make a call? I mean, it's not as... Ugh. Yeah, I'd throw it back, honestly. Yeah. I will throw it back. I can tell you right now, I don't have River Boa. Yes. Which means I'll probably lose, but that's fine. It does seem like a violation of your karma. Mm -hmm. I draw a seven and I pick leave. one to pick one to put back. Yep. On the top or just at bottom or bottom. Bottom, yep. Okay. Oh sure, I haven't shown that card off yet. Uh yeah, I'll keep this one. Alright, so pick a card. Right. Okay. It'll be this one. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Have fun. You too. I play a plains. Mm -hmm. Your turn. <laughs> River bull. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Thought that would happen. Yeah. Thought you would be that guy. <laughs> God, Nickus, that that gif of the snake in motion, where it's just clearly like. Doing his little walk. Go ahead. <laughs> that damn it's, snake is back on the escalator. Just like, <sighs> that is very clearly a snake doing a big steppy. <laughs> and I guess that means I'm now a cringe millennial since I say things like EP, big steppy. Yeah. And doggo? Card's good. I refuse to say doggo. <laughs> <laughs> you just said it. Sorry, what is it? Oh, that's the falcon. That's the falcon. Abs and falcon, yeah. yes. Uh, that's it. That's mine. Ooh, I haven't seen this card yet. Uh, attack you for two. Oh, no. And then I will play, um, yeah, I can't play anything else. Vampire Lacerator. What does it do? Oh. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, uh, you lose one life unless an opponent has ten or less life. Vampire Agro from Zendikar. Yeah. Hmm. Love this, homie. All right, you're up. Okay. It's probably horrible in this deck, and it's probably going to kill me, but... Oh, you lose the life. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought I was losing the life. No. God, that card would be broken. Speaking of losing the life. I mean, that would life, be a 2023 card. <laughs> yeah. I'm not letting the snake die. Ah. Oh. Goodbye. Can't even regenerate it. 2-2 uh, two, two versus a 2-3. And it has nothing else. I'm going to attack. Yeah. You take two. Yep. That taps. Oh, yes. On to you. All right, uh, upkeep, trigger, I lose life. Uh-oh. I play this forest. I play, I attack for two, and then I play the vampire champion. Death touch. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. 
Vampire Soldier. Oh wait, I forgot to do damage to James. I will anticipate. Mm -hmm. Top three cards, in my library. One in my hand, the rest at the bottom. So one mana, two two. It needs a downside. No, it doesn't. Savannah Lion. Checkmate. Yeah. Uh, Can't argue with that. Isamaru. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Or any of the other two twos for one. Wow, such value. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then I will. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Look, chat, I'm lying to you. Well, it was either you lose one life or it can't block. 80% of what I say to you is a lie. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Oh, no. Either case, knight. Including that line? Possibly. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, yeah, the the knight is back. Yes. Yep. Exalted, and that's it. Yeah. 3 1. Uh, no attacks. Yeah, exactly. Like, one mana tutus need a downside, like Raghavan. <laughs> uh. Combat. Mm -hmm. I attack you with this 3 3 that has death touch. Hmm. What if I take three damage? Sounds good to me. I tap five mana. Deck name, go. Get wrong. Oh. Large lag. <clears throat> six six death touch. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice it unless you sack a land. You may play an additional land on each of your turns, and whenever one or more land cards are put into your graveyard from anywhere, draw a card. Okay. It's froggin' time. Uh, all right, up you go. I don't think I'm getting out of this one, boys. I don't like the planes. Uh, oh yeah, I should be at 16, sorry. Yeah, you're right, thank you. God, you just have death touch everything here. <laughs> Okay. That would be wow. Yeah, a lot of damage. Oh, that's still really good. Okay. Well, so yeah, pack one, pick one. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Correct choice. Pack one, pick one, and then I just committed to green black. Hmm. Yeah, getting the the master woodsman. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, seems good. Yeah. Well, they were from the same set, weren't they? That was a Shadows Over Innistrad card. Mm -hmm. I will outlast my falconer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'll pass to you. Pass. Okay. That's a lot of mana. All right. Upkeep trigger. I lose life. Draw. Oh my god. Uh, oh, and this. Um, two up creatures. So I'm going to sacrifice. Um, okay, wait, hold on. Mm -hmm. Untap, upkeep. Draw. This. So what I should have done, sorry, untap, upkeep, trigger, trigger, lose a life, pitch this land, draw a card. And then draw another card, right? Yeah. Yeah. Chat, that's right. I'm fine with it. Yeah, this yeah. is your draw for the yeah, turn. Yeah, this is the draw for the turn. Technically, what I drew there was forget rock. Okay, so draw for the turn. Cat. I don't think my very simple magic is working here. Not against frog. <laughs> this is the way of blue-white skies. Mm. Dominate the air. Realize you need the land to live on. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud Elemental, save me. <laughs> Cloud Elemental. All right, and then... Okay. The 
a, a combat. I attack you with these two. Six six three three death touch. Six six and a three three. Don't worry, Matt. When the Omen Paths opened, Innistrad became heavily industrialized, and the Gitrog monster's habitat became destroyed by heavy metals. Mm. Wow. It was Love later it. found up, washed up, hideously scarred. Love him. More, more than normal? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to um, hurt. Okay. He's going to take nine? Yeah. All right. Do host. I am then going to do what Cam just talked about. Cast Stoic Builder. Returning the swamp to my hand and playing it for the turn. Oh, I see a synergy here. C -c -c Combo. That is my turn. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, that wasn't a land. Um, You're my wife. That's how I experience her, too. <laughs> <laughs> That's how most people experience her. <laughs> You're not special. Skitter eel. Mm -hmm. um, pass. <laughs> All right. Untap. Upkeep. Uh, trigger. You're below 10. I lose nothing. Ooh. Trigger, get rog, sack this land, draw, draw for the turn. These were untapped. I'm going to go ahead and play this land. And then. Man, I just want to like build a deck with get rog monster and like life from the loam. Love low. Then yeah, I'm going to go low. ahead and tap four. And just because I find it hilarious, put Mark of the Vampire on Gitrog Monster to give plus two, plus two, and lifelink. You're a nasty, nasty man. <laughs> uh, and then I will attack. Oh, look, I block it. Um, those can also just... Trade? Bounce, yeah. Okay, so these trade. <clears throat> uh, this dies. I gain nine. Nope, eight. It's very important. It's eight, not yeah. nine. Go mm -hmm. ahead. Okay. Let's see. Oh, look, a land. Another land. Um, This is mostly spite, but I'm going to dismantling blow kicked your mark of the vampire. Uh, it destroys a target artifact or enchantment, and if it was kicked, I draw two cards. Yeah, nice. And I drew two cards, and yeah. they're very lovely cards. <laughs> Great uh, cards, perfect cards. Perfect cards. Beautiful, beautiful win, cards. Win Just the, the game, beautiful cards. Win the game cards. I attack you for three in the air. Yep, I take three. I'm at twenty. And then I gosh darn die. <laughs> Well, let's see. Hold on. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, you do. Uh, yeah. Good game. Good I game. hate you with my. I have to sacrifice this land, but then I hit you with frog. I didn't even get to play my Teferi. No. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> damn. R rare smooth Teferi. I also had this. Uh, I was kind of looking forward to try and play this card, the Centaur, Centaur Glade. Mm. Mm. So three green green for an enchantment that you can pay two green green to just make centaurs. That seems pretty good. Yeah, this Teferi would have been pretty good. Yeah. So, like, green Pegasus Mesa? Pegasus Mesa? Mm -hmm. Pegasus Mesa. Pegasus Pegas Mesa. We can Pegas talk. Pegasus Mesa is Man, something we can, else. We talk real goods tonight. Is that a request or a command? <laughs> <laughs> An imperative. Uh, yeah, the Centaur Extruder. All right. Well, that was round two yeah. here of our Misty Boosties draft. We'll be back shortly after this short message where Kathleen and I will battle to the death for your entertainment. I'll miss one of you. Yeah. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Howdy, everybody. We're here with round three of the six-player mystery booster draft. We have a Cameron. Huh? And we have a Kathleen. Ah. And I am Matt being the table friend for the first time ever, so I'll do it perfectly. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no pressure. How are we both feeling about the decks? Meh. Meh? Meh. 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 It's fine. What, what was your deck name? It, uh, my, I called my deck This Was Open. Okay, mm. okay. So that's the vibe there. What about you, Cameron? My brain has been replaced with a bad orb. Ooh. Or oh. a borb. Or a borb. Yeah. My, my brain is also bad. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My brain wants to hurt me. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, well let's see if we can remember the, uh, the pre-game steps. Yeah. Okay. Or the pre-main pre phase steps. I believe I want to die roll. Yep. So I'm going to play first. Okay. I'm going to keep what I drew. Yep. Untap. Okay. Upkeep. Mm-hmm. Draw. Yes. Island. He drawn crab. Crab. Oh. Tiny crab. Everyone loves a crab. I still love my idea for how this card works, where you just see this crab who has a he drawn, and he's trying to solve it like a Rubik's cube, mm. and all you can do is stand there and like watch him continuously fail to do it. Mm. And it every time it crying. does, every time a new land comes into play, and he pulls a he drawn from it to like fiddle with. You're like, no, just give it to me. Uh, mill two, please, or mill three. Yeah. Sentinel, Woodlanders, Flame Weave and Woker, and a Mountain. All right. The, the intense frustration just drives you to actually forget uh, things. Second, or first oh. main. I thought um, that. I'll cast Ruin Rat. Okay, what happens? Uh, when it dies, exile target card from an opponent's graveyard. Oh, fun. Uh, go. All right, draw this card for the turn. Play this. I'm gonna wait. and I'm going to play. That's got death touch, eh? Someone's asking how you played two lands. I played two lands in two turns. Yeah. yeah. Bitter blade warrior. Sense. I can okay. exert it and it gets death touch and one Sounds... plus one plus zero until end of turn. Go ahead. Sounds good. I'm good. This is gonna be a fast game if with the hedron crab online. Um, island mill three. Okay. Bounding crisis. Tar fire. I needed that tar fire and a forest. Go. Oh, and a counter spell in hand. How exciting! Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if online is something that describes the hedron crab. Um, um, I'm going to exert it so it has death touch. I will block with the ruin rat. All right, they trade. I will ex. Uh, what is your? I'll I'll exile the bounding crisis. Okay. I think. I don't really have a way of getting it back, but. Okay. It's gone either way now. Um, still your turn? Yeah, I'm going to attempt to play this Inspirational Antelope. Okay. Uh, naming uh, Landfall. Okay. I was so tempted to take that, but I was not in green. Go what ahead. does it do with Landfall? Uh, it spells with Landfall co cost one less to cast. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. It just looks so happy, you know, so pleased. Hmm. Um, Island, mill three. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least I get to go home soon. There's my Torian Mauler, and there's Tatiova. All right. Um, I will cast this Bloodright Invoker. Mm -hmm. when, if I get to eight mana, target player loses three life, and you gain three life. Okay. Go. I'm gonna play a Bloom Tender for each creature color among permanents you control. Add one mana of that color to your mana pool. And I'm gonna play a Priest of Titania. Add one to your mana pool for each elf on the battlefield. All right. Ooh, ramping. I just, I go ahead. I don't think the ramping is that much important right now. Um. Go. So far, no actual swings at each other. No. Well, one, but both creatures died. Yeah. Everyone's too distracted by this amazing antelope. <laughs> no kidding. So beautiful. Yeah. So inspiring. Oh, oh, Captain, my Captain. 
Oh, Capra, my Capra. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Roots. Enchantment or enchant creature without flying. When Roots enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature. It doesn't untap during its opponent's untap, skip, untap step. Okay. I'm going to try to tap your blood right invoker. Okay. Does that resolve? It does. All right. That just will sit there. Woohoo. Beep, beep. Um, I take, well, I'll block the antelope with the hedron crab. Okay. You take one. I take one. It's something. Go ahead. Okay. Um, oh, this. Hilarious. Um, okay. You know what? I want to try this. Truth or dare. Target okay. opponent chooses one. Truth. That player, player, that player plays with their hand revealed for the rest of the game. Mm -hmm. Or dare, mill all but the bottom 10 cards of that player's library. <laughs> wow, that's so rude. <laughs> wow. Uh, I'll play with my hand revealed. Okay. All right. Uh, what do we got? Yavamaya's... An, an affectionate Indric mm -hmm. and Luvak the Aberrant uh, and a Yavamaya's Embrace, which is just you control enchanted creature. Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and trample. What does the Indric do again? It uh, fights something. Okay. Um, that, that seems like a lot for three men. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, body massage machine. Go. I'm glad that card got played. It's just interesting to show off. Mm -hmm. Affectionate Indric, tar and it's going to target your Hedron crab. Yep. Great. Uh, beep, beep. For sure two. Sure thing. Um, Continues to be the most adorable kill spell. I <laughs> take two. Um, I am going to tragic slip the affectionate Indric. <gasps> who follows the Hedron Crab off of a very oh, high balcony. That, oh. oh, that entire sequence was so tragic. It yeah. was tragic. Go ahead. All right. Go. Where's my blue sources? I have as many, I have more blue sources than I have red sources. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Um, For three? Yeah, I am going to cast Peel from Reality to move, remove the uh, Bloom Tender, or bounce the Bloom Tender and my own um, Blood Rite Invoker. And I'll take two. Down to 15. Replay the Bloom Tender. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And now it can block. I know. Well, I'll play this Blood Rite Invoker. <laughs> Go. I've got plenty of mana, but nothing to do with it. So annoying. Uh, beep, beep. I'll take one. And I believe that card has to be revealed. It does. It's a thorn wield archer. So I'm going to play it. I assume. Uh, it's a 2 1 with reach? 2 1 with reach and death touch. Okay. And it's an elf. And it is an elf. Mm. Which could be relevant. Yeah. I don't really feel like wiping my... Go ahead. Got a bunch of elves and this lovely inspirational antelope. Mm -hmm. They're all just dancing around it like, we love you, we love you. Go. It's Krufix, God of Horizons. Mm. 
Beep, beep. Um, this is terrible. I'm going to Grim Affliction, the inspirational antelope. Oh, no. Put a minus one, minus one counter on target Dang. creature, then proliferate. Ah. It's still alive. It's a, it's a minus two one. Yep. All right. And it's just so sick. Is Krufix online? Uh, well, I can't cast Krufix. Oh, I sorry. Because I, I don't have any blue sources. Mm -hmm. Right. Sorry, I thought I, That's, I, no. did, I forgot that that was your hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my hand. That's why it's sort of like lower down so everybody can see it. But it's like yeah, I'm yeah. trying not to have it interfere with the battlefield. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. You're not doing that awful thing where you have go. All, your uh, creatures behind your lands? No. Yeah, it's weird. The usual, uh, the standard play Go ahead. layout uh, does not have a place Go. to put your hand. <laughs> no blue sources in here. So they're coming. <gasps> oh, wait. No. I want to. <laughs> you played it. No, you no, played I'm it. I'm going to cycle it and go looking for a basic land. <gasps> Sorry, what was that? An card? island? Oh, my God, it's an island. Uh, what was that card, Kevin? Uh, it was an Ash Barrens. Basic land cycling. It turned from ash to water. Would you like to cut my deck? Sure. All right. Now you have your choice. I'd like to play Luvac, the Aberrant. Mm-hmm. Three, four, protection from... Modified creatures. Okay. They have uh, modified creatures of a power, toughness, or ability different than their printed version. Ooh. Okay. So anything with counters or anything? Correct. Like yeah. It resolves? Yeah. Great. At the end, beginning of each player's end step, you may put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. Uh, that player controls. I will actually. I'm just going to grab a plus oh, one plus one cool. counter, and I'm going to put it on Luvac. Go ahead. Cool. I guess protection from yourself doesn't do anything to a creature. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it means when I put a plus one plus one counter on something, Cameron's I can creature. play. Trial of Ambition. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent sacrifices a creature. I target Kathleen Devere. I will sacrifice this inspirational antelope. Oh, All right, no. go. I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on that thing. Here, Cameron, have a counter. Hooray. I am going to attack you with Luvac. There is nothing I can do. All right, take four. All right. I would ask, what is she counting all this mana for? But we do see. We see Hurricane. Mm. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'm going to attempt to resolve this Savage Knuckle Blade. Yeah. Yep. I have literally nothing in okay, my hand well, that I, I could play. Oh, well, I don't know what you have, and you're playing the colors of counter, counterable mm -hmm. mana. Uh, let's see. So this should be add, add green to your mana pool for each elf on the, mana on the battlefield. That's three, so that's adding three. And then this is for each color among permanents you control, add one mana of that color to your mana pool. So that should be another three. This is, I drew this, and it, you should see it. It's a Priest of Titania. So that should be six, and six two, so th four green, one blue, one red, correct? Yes. Great. Uh, I'm going to play... Crew fix with for six. A man-shaped hole in the sky. 
he, he is very rude. Uh, and at the end of turn, oh wait, I can also rude fix. May as well play this other priest of t Titania. And at the end of turn, I will put a plus one, plus one counter on. Uh, it's a three one with death touch. Oh no, it's just a big guy. I will put a plus one, plus one counter on my savage knuckle blade. Uh, and then I will say go. And Kruvix is indeed a creature right now. Yes. I will cast Archeomancer, returning tragic slip to my hand. Go. Oh, I put a plus one, plus one counter on this. Uh, you, I, can he? Can he target yes. something that's modified? You put, uh, you, at the beginning of each player's end step, you may put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature that oh, player yeah. controls. Right. Yeah. Okay. right, it's protection, it's not... Uh, yeah. Oh, right, he can't... He could do it on himself because... Then right, that was it, <laughs> yeah, that was it. It is a may effect, though. You can choose not to do it. Is it? Oh, you may, yeah. So if you don't want to. Oh, I thought I had to. Well, and I don't want to put a plus one, plus one counter on that. <laughs> Actually, I should, I, should be, I should be smart, and I should put a plus one, plus one counter on the Archaeomancer. <laughs> All right. Right, I drew. This is, this is in my hand. I'm just going to play it. I keep forgetting I'm supposed to play with my hand revealed. I think it's time for to head to the beep beep step. Beep beep has been called. Beep beep with these beepers. I will try to double block. What does Savage Knuckle Blade do again? Uh, I can pay two and a green to give plus two plus two until end of turn. Or put it back to your Or hand. I can return it to my hand, or I can give it haste till end of turn. That's probably the two green is the most relevant thing. I have to block it or I die. Okay, so you're going to... I'll block it with Archaeomancer. Archaeomancer, and then and you'll then take... block the Thornwield Archer with the Bloodright Invoker. Okay, and so you'll take seven? Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Hurricane to deal yeah. X amount of damage to us both. Okay. Nasty. Good showing for the elves. I feel like Dare was very scary. Quite. Mm. Fortunately, I was stuck with that. Every uh, five or six mana card in my deck in my Ooh. hand. Oh, no. Yeah. And didn't see a land drop for what, like? Six turns. Yeah, you, you really were on the aggressive mill plan. I was like, oh, this game will be over quickly. Yeah. yeah. But if you if you chose dare and then you had three landfalls with the crab, then I, I'd be gone. dead. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why. That's why I was like, I'd rather just play with my hand revealed. Yeah. But it's the fact that the the like dare is a sorcery that does that effect. So it's not like it's not like it's an enchantment that can be interacted with. Yeah. It just it's sort of just, happens. Now this is you. Yeah, it's, just, now, it's just sort of an emblem or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you have to deal with this. Feeling a lot better about running 41, though, in this deck. <laughs> ah, the cheeky 41. You have to say what card just could not get cut a, after the game. A forest. It's a, a forest. forest. Just nice. to make sure my uh, land's OK. Nope. Nope. Both notes? Uh, well, I, you never keep a one land hand. It's interesting, uh, you know, you called your deck, uh, this was open, because I think there were a couple of green players in the draft, which is interesting. I felt like green was underappreciated. Mm. I felt like red and green were underappreciated. I was ignoring both. I, I mean, I think nobody played, it sounded like nobody ended up in red. So, I don't know. Oh, I've split a sleeve. Ugh. Oh no. Was everyone at least two colors? Uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, pretty typical, really. Yeah. I'm the only one with any red? Ugh. Well, I didn't pick up any land fixing, and I sort of... It does. It did seem like uh, that, yeah, that, sure. that fixing was not... Oh, uh, this is terrible, but I think this will have to be kept. This is keepable because I don't want to go to six. Yeah. 
Yeah, there wasn't really any All fixing right. in the pool. One on the bottom? Oh, right, one on the bottom. Because we both um, mulled. Yeah. Okay. Island. Oh, it's that crab. It is that crab. Christ. It's that boy. How many of those boys do you have? One. Oh. Forrest, go ahead. At least it's not that snake that killed me twice. <laughs> Swamp. Luvac, an island, and roots. Go. Oh no, Luvac. But we love that guy. Bitterblade warrior. All right. Go ahead. Um, island. Mill three, please. Inspirational antelope, cage sun, oh, and a forest. Oh, um, invoker. Yep. Go. The art looks like it should be a red card, but that is a black card. Yep. Priest of Titania. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, island. Mill three, please. Thornwield Archer, Bloom Tender, and Crufix. Um. Go. Two colors up on the board now. Yeah. All right. Adding one for Watcher in the Web. Okay. Reach 2-5 can block an additional seven creatures each combat. <laughs> Attack for two. Block with the invoker. Go ahead. Um, second, or uh, End before. Of, yeah. Um, I will, no, sorry. <laughs> Tragic slip the spider. Okay. Back um, down to a one oh one my and God. a two. Somebody put eight bananas down all at the same time. <laughs> fog bank. Defender, flying, prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to and by fog bank. Go. When will your blocker learn not to fight a cloud? Tar fire. Okay. Targeting the hedron crab. That spider's wearing roller skates. Go. Be so fast. Yeah. Um. Grave digger, returning hedron crab to my house. No. <laughs> uh, go. One, two, three, four, five. You got your six. win condition. You got to stick with it. Wood Treaders, if it was entered the battlefield, kicked, draw two cards. All right. That's Citranal Wood Treaders. Uh, Citranal Wood Readers. <laughs> yes, that one. Go ahead. Okay. They're a one four. They block real good. Mm -hmm. Um. So many good blockers. Hedron Crab. Yep. Swamp, mill three, please. Another priest, a forest, and an island. Okay. Um, let us trial of ambition. Okay. Uh, target player sacrifices one creature. I target Kathleen Devere. Uh, I will sacrifice these wood treaders. Okay. Um, attack with Gravedigger. I take two. Say go. One. Actually, I don't even need to do that. Six. Indrik. Okay. He loves it too much. He's a very affectionate boy. Go ahead. Love that Indrik. Mm -hmm. um, and that Indrik loves that crab. Go. 
Poor Indrik. Everyone he loves leaves him. Oh. Like he's just such a sweet boy. Yeah. Leaves him very, very quickly. Uh, attack for four. Block with Fog Bank. All right. Um, I will play a Torian Mauler. Whenever an opponent crafts a spell, you may put a plus one, plus one counter on Torian Mauler. Okay. Oh no, Cameron loves doing that. Yeah, go ahead. Um, actually, with that on the stack, no. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Go. The, uh, oh, you were missing white until then. I was. Oh, interesting. Uh, Titania uh, counts the Mauler, right? Eh? She does. Change lane. Or the priest The priest does, t so that is technically an elf, so now it taps for two. Oh, yeah, that's a shapeshifter. Okay. I just saw Torian and thought, oh, bull. It's just, it's just a really bull-shaped elf. You know what? Tap for two. I'm going to mana morphose mm -hmm. to add two mana in any combination of colors to my mana pool and draw a card. I'm going to say blue and red. Using that, I'm going to play this Flame Weave Invoker. Mm -hmm. I can pay eight and deal five damage to target creature or planeswalker. Okay. Eight, four, five, six. A Lava Axe Dispenser. It is a Lava Axe Dispenser. Uh, and then I'm going to try to attack you with this. Fog Bank. Yeah. Well, I guess i got to attack with two creatures. It's, it's just trying to muzzle the, or nuzzle the cloud, and it's just not happening. Maybe it's the one thing it can love that will stay with it. Hmm. Very true. Very mm -hmm. true. Go ahead. Okay. Um. Draw a card. And it's whenever an opponent casts a spell? A casts a spell. Cool. Um, Sick. It's easy. All I have to do is don't cast spells. Yeah. Ah, she'll never expect that. Yeah. You have a fog bank, you're fine. Well, I'm going to die to the uh, flame weave invoker, so I have to grim affliction it. Mm. So, it gets, so it gets two minus one, minus one counters? It does. Bloop. I can't even do anything to it in response. Does it get the counter in response? Uh, it gets a counter and then, yeah. Oh, like, wait, the Torian Mauler. The, the, yeah, the this Mahler gets a gets minus one, minus one yeah. counter yeah. and then gets another minus the one. The Mauler gets the counter before, like, as the spell is cast, mm -hmm. before any effects happen. Mm -hmm. um, so theoretically, yes, it's it's there for the proliferate. I'm assuming, bottle gnomes. I'm assuming Cameron does not proliferate the plus one. Plus one. I do not. <laughs> Go. Uh, at the end of your turn, I'm going to flash in this uh, Bounding Crisis, and I'm going to tap the Fog Bank. Okay. Oh, no. a fish lizard. Three, three, th one, three, two, two. Beep, beep. Okay. I will... How much? Eleven? Yeah, three, four, eight, eleven, yeah. Oofa, um, doofa. So four. I'll block there. Okay. And then lose four net. Yes. Because oh. when bottle gnomes do you die, you gain three life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Old cards, fun. All right, go ahead. Chug a gnome, as they say. Wait till it's dead first, though. Yeah. Go. That's only polite. Crumbling Necropolis? Enters tapped, but it adds my splashes. Beep, beep. I'll fog bank and then block the mauler with the grave digger. Okay, so take three. Yep. Go ahead. Um, I 
all daring demolition the mauler. Oh. I got to counter before it died. I think that's important. Yeah. And do a damage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, go. Savage Knuckle Blade. Mm-hmm. Give Savage Knuckle Blade haste. Mm-hmm. Actually, wait. Sorry, I want to play with it. I want to pay for a different land with that because it's this will give it haste. Give it haste. So it's a four-four. I'll block Savage Knuckle Blade with a fog bank. All right, take seven. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh. Go. Uh, well, I will cycle this Ash Barrens to go look for an island. I'll beeps. Block fog or savage knuckle blade and take seven and die. Good games, Cameron. <laughs> Very. Good games, yeah. Love, <laughs> love had... seeing that giant pile there. Yeah, yeah. so much stuff milled off. Yeah. Man, there was one thing that I was actually hoping How to. How many counter spells did you have? None? I think one, oh. maybe. I was kind of concerned that you would have counter spells. N no, no, the, there were none really going around. I um, mean, I didn't see any, but I basically, bl I, t I first picked T Tatiova. Right. And then uh, my second pick was like also like a blue card, of, uh, but then like the blue just dried up. So I assumed that you, so I assumed that those around me had hoovered up counter spells and stuff. Yeah, I was really like, kind of interested in playing Phyrexian Reclamation. Mm. Oh. To cycle Archaeomancer and Gravedigger. Oh. But I never saw it. Oh. So. Yeah. <sighs> oh, well. Yep. Well, womp, those, womp. those were all good games, and I'm glad that everyone enjoyed their time here, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I played a teamer deck. Very famous mm -hmm. for going Pachow as quickly as possible. Yeah. Uh, so that's... Those are th that's gonna happen when it's like, what can I cast? Aggressive elves. <laughs> <laughs> Love aggressive elves. Dude. I mean, going hard. And I, I mean, I'm glad we started at uh, uh, four o'clock though, because because it's yeah, it's yeah. eight o'clock. <laughs> I don't know why this took so long. I mean, the first the first game uh, with oh Graham I mean, and Nelson with Graham yeah. and Nelson Went did go pretty long. That's yeah. true. Uh, and you know, it's also. I think the draft was also longer because there's a lot of weird reading in these yeah. cards. I did have to read all of the cards to try and figure out what would go together. But <sighs> and also draft streams go long. But That's anyway. Yeah. But it was fun. And hey, if you liked the, the 4 p.m. start, let us know. Tell us what you think. And mm -hmm. if you didn't like it, also let us know. We're just interested in, you know, hearing from you, getting that engagement from the engagement gods. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Remember... Every time you tell us about a misplay, it gets us cash. <laughs> That's not true. I don't I think. I mean, kind of in a way. Kind like of is, it, yeah. it does promote engagement. The, yeah. And, yeah. And wow. YouTube can't. YouTube can't tell the difference between good and bad attention. Yeah. <gasps> it just loves attention. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, man. But, but you know what does directly get us cash is uh, supporting our Patreon and also Card Kingdom. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I kind of juked you out there, Paul. I, I love how we're still going with like the OG Patreon logo. The snail, mm. yeah. Yeah. We're, I mean, they're just going to update it again. And I know, so, you exactly. Know, yeah. We don't need to worry about that. Or no, sorry, I had memory lapse. That was the one counter oh, spell I had. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, so I was not unreasonably trying to like sort of deke around it when you had a big handful of, I just know you really well. And I'm like, Cameron's got so much blue mana. Yep, and it's he true. he playing spells. You know, magic is the game played both on the battlefield and in the mind. In the psychologically, psychologically, I'm terrified of your counter spells. Mm. And we also wanted to mention uh, that Card Kingdom has a, a big um, 
uh, deal going on right now. Yeah, big yeah. Deal. That's true. So if you are into cards like Affectionate Indrik, well, good news, because I believe it's in Ravnica Remastered, isn't it? Is it? Oh, what a good boy. He's a classic. And if it's not, it's still a Ravnica card, and they're having an amazing sale on Ravnica Remastered right now. So you can get a draft boosty for four bucks, which is a good deal. Man, now, I've just think, now I'm just thinking of cats, like, uh, deciding that they like an object rubbing their face on it to indicate its scent is to, to rub their scent on it yeah and pushing it off a shelf destroying it <laughs> yeah like man that's oh. my life oh. megados x corrects me says it's not in ravnica remastered but it will be in the clue, clue set, set. Which i really want to play i want to play i've heard it's Magic not clue. bad actually uh we know the person that designed it too oh cool it was uh their former ppr guest oh uh I am blanking on their name. I'm so sorry. Why am I can't re I can't remember your name right now? They're they were here for Wilds of Eldraine. Yeah, like six months ago. Yes. Jordan. No. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm just gonna. But anyhow, the point is they did a great job designing. Apparently, it's super fun, and I do want to play it. I am. Thank you. It's it's Chris. Yeah. Thank you. I was Chris. like, it's mm -hmm. Chris Mooney. Anyhow, they did a great job. And I'm really excited to play it. And I'm really excited that we got to be here with you. So if you enjoyed our content, Engage, Card Kingdom, Patreon, all of that stuff. And I guess, Matt, the only thing you have to do now is take us home. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight on Friday Night Paper Fight. We will see you later. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs>